and welcome back to Rivals of Waterdeep. We're going to go around the table and introduce ourselves. Hi, uh, I'm Tanya, your grumpy as ever paladin, Lisa Storio, and uh, I've got a little announcement that I'm going to make after everyone is done introducing themselves because it's a cool, fun thing. She, her over there. Yes, thank you. Is uh, Tanya to pass. He, him right here is Cicero Holmes. I am playing Perrin Underbow, your wonderfully an enigmatic bard. I am Carlos Luna. Uh, my preferred pronouns are he, him, and I will be your dungeon master. My name is Serena Marie. I'll be playing Ashbourne, and my preferred pronouns are she, her. And I'm Sharif Jackson. I'll be playing Shaka, and my preferred pronouns are he, him. All right, so the announcement, and I see that Lauren already beat me to it by using the command. <laughs> um, so just a quick thing. For those of you that really, really like Waterdeep and Dragon Heist, Beetle and Grimm makes an official, like, super luxe platinum edition. And I'm an affiliate with them. So there's a code in the chat. If you are going to buy it anyway, because I know it's not the cheapest thing out there, uh, use that code because it helps, you know, spread Waterdeep around, which sounds really weird. No, it <laughs> spread it around. Uh, but, you know, it puts, a, it puts a little bit in my pocket, which can go back then to the show. Cool. Yeah. Spread that deep. All right. Uh, <laughs> How you are going? Pull up, pull up. Pull up. <laughs> oh, that was a pee. Look at that. I'm just, wow. I'm just starting the show off right. right. I'll just say, pull up, uh, pull we are up. actually uh, down one person. Uh, oh, yes. Brandon is not here. He is uh, doing a charity event um, yes. this weekend. Uh, it's like three days. Um, yeah, it's like a Halloween scarathon. He's doing mm -hmm. all kind of streaming on his Twitch channel i am brandon tv so make sure to check that out and yeah, i think they well. hit fifteen thousand. Oh my wow. god that's awesome wow. that's so awesome yep. that's so good he's uh, you know the brand is strong the yeah. brandon the yeah. brand yeah. is yeah. strong brandon is strong for sure yes. we'll miss him <laughs> guys you want to get into it yeah. yeah yeah previously on rivals of Waterdeep. what happened last week I, well, I wasn't here. <laughs> <laughs> that Shaka, Shaka is still stuck in that room. Yeah, he I was, was in, infatuated. In, yeah, he was infatuated, stuck playing with puzzles and boxes and yeah. all sorts of stuff. Uh, what, did, what did we wind up doing? We wound up fighting a Grell. We found Grells. Yes, yes we found Grell. And we fought Grell. a Grell. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, well, I guess... You and Celise made it down to uh, these three buildings. Yes. Um, you argued a lot. Yes. <laughs> As we are wanting to do. <laughs> Celise climbed to the top of one. <laughs> and uh, totally failed a roll. <laughs> and uh, you... Yeah, Ash um, was investigating that creepy abandoned house and found a big giant hole in the ground that um, I think were the nests of the grell. Yeah. Uh, because two grell you know, came out of it as she was running out. Um, but Brandon found and talked to a, a ton of a clockwork. I don't know. Nim uh, Nim yeah. A nimble yes. right. A nimble yeah. right. Yes. He is a He's an right? automaton. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 And then you guys made it to, well, you snuck out just in time. Yeah. Before I was eaten. <laughs> Before you were yeah. eaten. Yeah, we don't I mean, know what they would have done. Eaten. I mean, <laughs> they could have been friendly. Eaten. You guys could have made <laughs> friends with them. Friendly and Grell go in the same sense. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess not. Okay. And then we found, like, basically low rent Indiana Jones. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, yes. We did. Oh, Volo. Oh, Volo, yeah. yeah. Let's, Volo. Let's, put that, let's put that in. Let's make sure D&D &D puts that <laughs> in. Low rent. It's like, it's a scene Dungeons and Dragons. To headquarters, some guy running through the halls, <laughs> burst through the conference room. Guys, I got an idea for a character. Yeah. <laughs> He's low rent Indiana low Jones. Indiana Jones. <laughs> well, I mean, Celise had to like drag both him and Ash like, yeah. away, yeah. like two squabbling kids, and she's just like, "Oh my god, stop talking." Yeah, because you know? Ash wants to fight him. <laughs> yeah, we got to hear an awesome. Um, <laughs> We know what grills sound like now. Yes. Right? <laughs> yes. Right? yes. Yes. That was actually very good. We yes. know what grills sound. What do grills sound like? They sound like this. <laughs> that was a very sad one. Right. Well, that's, yes. Yes. Well, was, try it again. I mean, you guys did kill it. Was, yeah. it, was it was a death row. Yeah. yeah. Now I don't. Now well, I Tanya, weird. let's hear your yeah. impression oh, God, of it. No. Let's, oh, let's hear. Go Come on. Table. Yeah. Let's go around the table. Come on, guys. Do it. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. What's yours? Um, my register is <laughs> a little it. too low. You just took 
Lower I have more your voice just I, have more, I, I can do a growl, not right, a growl. Right, yeah, yeah, exactly. Ah, that's pretty that's good, great. too. Yeah. Ah, oh, oh, no, right. that's really bad. All yeah. right. Uh, hold on. Try it again. Ah. How do you do it? Ah. Yeah. That, it's like you're sucking in. That was absolutely right. Is that all right? It's like you're suffocating. I feel like that's, that's like a girl with like asthma. Is that, is that, yeah, is like that a, asthma? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's like an asthmatic can I, girl. Can I play kids? Yeah. Uh, let's hear it. Yeah. Let's hear yours. Wow! Uh, that's just oh shocking. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. That's Fine. Like a girl in his death throes. I, I, think, I think mine was excellent. Mine wins. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, so you went to fight this girl. It was very dramatic. Everyone ran in around the same time. Um, you guys kind of cornered it in this kitchen. There was also, yeah, low rent Indiana Jones was upstairs trying to get your attention, trying to be quiet. Um, <laughs> you guys attacked it, ran out just in time. You accident, uh, Rin actually set the kitchen on fire yes. Uh, yes. when he missed the growl. And you guys ran out. You pulled Indiana Jones or low rent Indiana Jones. I love that <laughs> description. Rent, of him. Yeah. Uh, you pulled him out. So now you're standing outside um, this building burning in the background, and that's where we are. Yeah. Also, yeah. Uh, there was this wonderful uh, intro and outro of rats. Yes. 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 The rats were running, and they were telling the story. It was like the secret of Nim. <laughs> was wow. maybe the secret of the nimble rat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, that rat from the uh, two episodes ago that right. scared Rin. Uh, we got to see that rat's point of view in the beginning as he saw all the characters. And then at the end, we see that same rat running with a bunch of rats out of Three Daggers Alley, uh, like a big wave of those rats. Rat mob. Yeah. Well, you guys want to get into it? Uh, let's do it. Are let's we it. Uh, getting questions after the show? Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Um, if you are in the chat right now, we are going to be taking questions at the end of the episode uh, for our characters. So uh, keep track. If you have questions for our characters, we will answer them at the end of the show. Um, just when you ask the question, just put question, colon, and then your question uh, in the chat. So we'll be able to look it up. Um, if you're listening to the podcast right now, uh, that is in the future. Uh, <laughs> just know that you can tune in any Sunday at noon Central Standard Time and ask your own questions uh, while we play. Yeah. yeah. Or, or like tweet us questions or something. Or like tweet us questions. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. good too. Yeah. Why not? We'll do all that stuff. You guys want to start? Yeah, yeah. let's do it. Yeah, let's get Am into I still it. holding these two recalcitrants? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you a really hard time today. I've decided. <laughs> Sleep hasn't had a bath in like four days. <laughs> Leave her alone. Four days? It was one no, day. One day. Yeah. Exaggeration. It feels, like four days. it feels like four. It feels like a it feel, It's been 84 years. It's a lifetime. <laughs> in, uh, in bath days. In bath days. Every <laughs> <laughs> six hours is a bath day. <laughs> okay, here we go. There, there is a poem. There is a poem titled The Three of water deep. I am the soldier. I bring steel to flesh. Blood in the cut. No sleep. No rest. My soul for honor. A fire to smolder. I wield the knife. I am the soldier. I am the thief. What's yours is mine. A wolf in sheep's clothing drinks blood like wine. A serpent, a coward, Till death's sweet release, my knife to your throat, I am the thief. I am the priest, a stone in the lake. I cause no ripples, no lives I take. A statue of marble, a roar from the beast. I raise no knife, I am the priest. Unknown. It is said that all people can be divided into one of these groups, the soldier, the thief, the priest. Nim thinks about this poem a lot, as Nim is not a person. Nim is a nimble right. But Nim is not a nimble right. So Nim must be a person. Nim searches for what Nim's purpose is. Is Nim the soldier? 
Is Nim the thief? Is Nim the priest? Purpose is trembling. Nim's purpose, like this poem, is unknown. The sun has set. I miss the sun. Oh, they are dragging the scared man to the streets. The building is warm. The building is hot. Fire. Where is the elf going? Back to our place. Oh, very curious. So you guys are in the middle of the street. Right behind you is a burning building. Uh, the nimble ride is also kind of just casually behind you as well. Uh, Rin has actually snuck off. Uh, you guys don't notice this, but he has snuck off. And the nimble ride kind of eyes him to be going towards uh, the building. Uh, the nimble ride suspects he's going back to the building to um, maybe investigate more or whatever. He doesn't seem to be really involved in what you guys are doing um, with this low rent Indiana Jones, <laughs> as it were. <laughs> uh, Shaka, you are, we're, we're going to skip right to you yeah. um, and see five minutes before all this, all this badness went down. Uh, you're in this shop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so you lifted the box. Mm -hmm. You saw the card. Um, it said, uh, there is a hell. Believe me, I've seen it. And as you're looking at this, you look down at the box itself. And there is nothing inside the box, but you notice there's more etchings like on the bottom. And it reads, There was a man who was born before his father, killed his own mother, and married his sister. Yet there was nothing wrong with what he had done. Why? And that's the face you're making as Elise was banging on the window, <laughs> <laughs> trying to get you to open up. It's still the face you're making uh, while uh, when Rin ran up to the window. Uh, it's still the face you're making and you're thinking about right now. Uh, you keep playing the puzzle in your head. There was a man who was born before his father who killed his mother and married his sister, yet there was nothing wrong with what he had done. We're going to jump back to the street while you think about that uh, really quickly. I just want to okay. catch up on Shaka's puzzle that he's playing with. Um, yeah, what are you guys doing? Oh, I put Ashbourne down because she's like flailing and <laughs> yeah. yelling and wants to like fight. So I just put her down and I'm like, okay, just just... Take a deep breath. Well, well, we don't even know his whole deal. Mister, was Volo? That is my name. I don't trust you. Well, I don't trust you either. So let me tell you something. No, I'm going to tell you something. What are you going to tell me? 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 Well, uh, you go first. Oh, I'm going to go first, all right. Well, why don't we just go at the same time? time? Okay, well, okay, wait, wait. Oh. Did you, you see? Mmm. <laughs> Do, do you know? Whoa. I feel like you're copying me right no, now, no, man. But we're gonna be best friends. What? What? Mm. We need to. We need to figure out how to take, um, to put out the fire. <laughs> right? Oh, just let it burn. Okay. Let this whole place burn. All right. That is not just. And um, I, Ash runs to go find. Is there? I don't know how water deep works. I'm looking for a fire hydrant. I know that's not a thing I'm going to find. Yeah. The, uh, at <laughs> best, you'll find like a pump in uh, in the middle. Okay. okay. Cool. Yeah. I go. Um, yeah. Roll investigation. That's a one. That's a one. You did not find a wow. pump. You ran into the burning building. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You, know, you, you know the difference between fire and water. <laughs> okay. so good. Uh, but I will say that you kind of got spun around and okay. you kind of... Um, you got spun around, and you think you can go around the building, but it actually dead ends again. Okay. So you have to double back uh, while this is happening. Okay. Yeah. What are you guys uh, doing? I look, and I I see uh, the roof, or Perrin looks, and he sees the roof, and he says, uh, the roof, the roof, the roof is <laughs> it's on fire. The roof is on fire. Uh, uh, we don't need any water. We okay. don't need no water. Let it burn. 
Yeah. Burn. <laughs> Mickey Ficky. <laughs> Uh, for those of you not in the studio, <laughs> you can hear Joe laughing. <laughs> you can hear Joe laughing behind the computer. <laughs> and Celise wants to not laugh, but she's just like <laughs> she wants, to, like she wants to join in and laugh, but she's also kind of like doesn't want to encourage this. But she was trying to get Perrin's attention, basically, when you were doing your Abbott and Costello routine. <laughs> <laughs> Should we intervene? No, uh, we need to let them settle their own differences as they, uh, I think this may be a budding, uh, pairing up. Ooh. Oh God, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shipping everybody this yeah. episode. Ship them all. Ship them all. Ship them all. <laughs> we don't have time for romance right now. <laughs> we have things to do, like save a whole town. Did you forget about we, those people? So we've discovered the the tale of the missing uh, people of this village, the three da dagger aliens. Uh, that's what they're called, right? Three dagger <laughs> aliens. <laughs> 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 the the grills are taking them, but why? But why? Well, I guess it really doesn't matter since we've gotten rid of all the grill. Correct. Um, and Ash runs back and she's kind of like sooty because she, um, I don't know. She's looking for water. Looking for water. But she just found fire. But I just found yeah. fire. So, <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> no, um, uh, there's, um, there's a nest. There's, there's a grill nest. A grill nest. Of course there's a grill nest. I was just about to suggest oh, that. Yeah? Where is it? Where is uh, it, smart guy? Dang. Yeah. Yeah, I know where it Let's is. Let's say it at the same time because okay, we both fine. know exactly what it is, where it is. Great, great. Okay, one, two, two three. three. It's, it's in that old... Whoa! <laughs> no, it's in that old house I was in before. It was in the old house she was in before. Do you know which house that was, Volo? Hot, cold, cold, hotter, warm. Am I getting warm? Ash is just like glaring. Just let me know if I'm getting warm. Is it hot? Am I burning? Is this what this is? Uh... And I right just, <laughs> I grab, um, uh, I don't know, Perrin's hand or Selyse's hand, I, both of them, and I just kind of, I'm walking us towards them, sort of like, I'm taking my friends to the place. So you guys uh, start charging yeah. uh, to that place. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys start walking forward. You guys start walking forward. Yeah. 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 I'm being yeah. dragged by this <laughs> tiny little <laughs> angry woman. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just angry and just, Yeah. Swinging my arms, so I'm swinging I mean, her your arm. Her arm is strong, though. Yeah. Arm is strong. <laughs> it's just like, wait, how are you dragging me? <laughs> I'm really strong. Yeah. Though. You want to do uh, seventeen? Uh, what? Do you want to go with, or do you want? Do you guys want to do? Um, do you want to do contested? Yeah, role? contested roll. Nah. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just go along with it. I'm just gonna go along with it, but I'm just like thinking I could probably just like on a on a good swing, <laughs> just kind of pick you up, just like me. <laughs> um, as you guys uh, start walking forward, uh. Volo, who had seemed like he wanted to get rid of you the entire time, is kind of like, looks over at Nim. Nim looks over at him. You just hear, like, the servo in his, in his neck, like, Zzz. and then Volo just, like, like, furrows his brow at the nimble right, and he's like, um, wait for me. You'll need, um, you'll need someone to help you. Uh, and then he starts uh, running behind you. Nim slowly starts walking behind you okay. as well. Uh, following you in that direction. Perfect. Uh, we're going to cut over to Shaka. Shaka. Um, doo -doo -doo, let me scroll through. Replaying over and over in your head, there was a man who was born before his father, mm -hmm. killed his own mother, and married his sister. Yet, there was nothing wrong with what he had done. Why? So you're thinking about this in your head. Mm -hmm. what, what's going on? What's going on in your mind? What possibilities are firing right okay. now? Have I noticed the spikes? You have noticed the spikes. They okay. haven't moved. Okay. Uh, yeah, they haven't moved at all. But did I notice that they have been moving? Because I, I think I would be trying to get out at this point. Yeah. Like uh, and think about the puzzle later. But uh, if I haven't noticed them, they haven't been I moving. I think you would have noticed, like, oh. Were there spikes here before? Were there not spikes okay. here before? Mm. But yeah. All right. So the possibility. So like I'm 
I'm just thinking like, well, this can't be like an actual person. Um, like it can't be like a, a historical, you know, person as, as you might say. Um, so I'm thinking that it might be like a deity or it might be someone from a story. Um, as you think someone from a story, like the camera zooms in into your mind and you, we start remembering, you start having this memory in your head. Um, your memories are very cloudy and sometimes you don't know what they are just because of what's going on with you in Montgomery, um, pulling pieces out. But you remember there was a boy, um, in, in your, in your school, his name is Leo Farlight. Um, He was, um, you remember the day he was born, uh, his father was there and saw him. Um, but tragically his mother died during childbirth. Um, you remember, uh, he had an older sister and Leo grew up to be, um, uh, a minister, uh, a priest and, uh, married, married a sister as well. Uh, so all this is like firing in in your head. Uh, the camera zooms back out. Um, and we hear that. (laughs) I get it. It's Leo Farlight. I haven't thought about that guy in ages because born before is before, like I'm before him, not before in the temporal sense. This is great. Yeah, this is great. That's ex- guys, guys, where's everybody? <laughs> you guys gotta hear me solve this. Um, as you say that, um, as you say, Leo Farlight, uh, a candle uh, flicks on um, in the corner near the dress that uh, Salise was was at. Okay, um, I go. Uh, can I roll investigation? Yeah, so? roll investigation. Shit. Uh, 12. 12. Okay. Yeah. The candle is actually the color of your dice. It's purple, uh, which looks weird. The um, roll history on that, actually. Let's see if you know what. 19. Oh, yeah. So you know that uh, this particular candle uh, reacts with paper, uh, almost like ink. Okay. So then I'm going to hold, well... I'm going to put the um, the uh, paper with the message on it with the uh, I've seen hell. Oh, yeah. On a piece of paper, right? Yeah, yeah. It sounds so like I don't want to accidentally burn it, but I'm going to put it close to the flame to oh. see if it reveals any uh, anything. Yeah, you put you slowly put the paper, trying not to burn it. Uh, you've actually never used one of these, so you're just being cautious. Uh, you put it up to uh, the flame, and you start to see purple ink appear on the back of the card. Um, you remember that the kerning is so bad on this. Uh, it said, uh, there is a hell, believe me, I've seen it. And then there seems to be some type of a small intricate map below. And on the bottom below the map at the top, it says, there is a hell, believe me, I've seen it. And at the bottom it says, there is a heaven. Let's keep it a secret. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Awesome. Uh, so I, so the first thing I do is I try to look at the map and try to discern if it's anything that I recognize either it might be maybe similar to one of the maps that we saw when, when we first, um, got into Waterdeep oh, yeah. and uh, met with the Lord of Waterdeep and we got all those pocket maps. Do we still, we don't still have those. Do we? You do. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think so, you do. so I pull out one of those pocket maps and I try to see if I can match it to any. Yeah. Roll investigation. Any and you guys are coming up on this right now. You would have been uh, passing the tailor shop right now um, and seeing him do all this stuff. All right, 16. 16. Um, so these maps are of the city. Uh, you are kind of holding it over, looking, trying to find the right, yeah. whatever. And nothing's really lining up exactly like you thought it would. Um, it, it seems like it'd be a, a bunch of different places, but the way the way it's kind of working is it doesn't look like these are streets. Well, I don't think that, well, what I'm looking for is I think this might possibly specifically because they say hell, it might possibly be a map of the underground, Oh, like, like where the Xanathar is. So I'm trying to find some kind of central point and try to see if I can map it to, to like maybe where a, um, I guess they have the, the equivalent of sewers, I'm assuming like that, or like wherever, when we saw that entrance when we left um, Zaraj by the theater, that little entrance to the uh, 
to the Xanathar thing with the Xanathar sign on it that oh, okay. we didn't take. I'm trying to see if I can kind of find, to, to like sort of find if I could line up any of the paths with that. Oh, um, so I don't know if there's, the map are just roads and the city. It's not the public works. Um, so it's not the sewer systems. Uh, the best I think you could hope for is maybe lining up the sewer system yourself, plotting it on the map and then seeing it that way. Um, but I, it, there's no sewer systems on the map basically. Okay. Yeah. It's just okay. roads and it's city planning. It's not the underground, the okay. civil utilities. So there's no like. AutoCAD. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. no Waterdeep edition. Uh -huh. Yeah, I can't yeah. download the PDF. I can't go to, <laughs> can't go to the Waterdeep Wiki Wiki Deep. As you say, Wiki Deep. Uh, <laughs> uh, the lock uh, on the door um, clicks, and you just hear it like slowly. This right. is open. So yeah, I, it's no I, I, I grab the note. Um, is is the candle? Um, is it removable? Yeah, you could take it out. Okay, I'm grabbing the candle and I'm bringing that with me cool. along with the the entire treasure box because I want to show this off. <laughs> I'm like, guys, <laughs> check this out. Yeah, you could take the. Tre I mean, it's, sure. a, it's a little tiny box. Uh, do you blow the candle out or do you uh, leave it? Uh, I guess I is it's it's like a purple flame, but it looks kind of natural. Does it look like it's? Looks like a regular candle. It's about this big. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I blow it out, though. Okay, cool. Uh, the text on the card disappears. Uh, disappears. That's, yeah. It's fine. All right. So we go. Okay, cool. And as you step outside, you see uh, Ashborn pulling Perrin and uh, Celise. Um, she's mumbling and grumbling to herself. Uh, okay. Behind her, you see uh, this human kind of like scurrying to like catch up. Ooh, and okay. and also the, a metal man like passing by too. Okay. So I don't know who they are. So I think they're chasing my friends. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm actually going to cast. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to cast uh, Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Yes. Uh, uh, guy, for anyone listening to this, sure. if we kill Volo, it is canon. So, <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You yeah. want to cast it on him? Cast it on him. Okay, cool. Sure. Uh, do you uh, have to roll the hit on it? Or, uh, hold on. Let me check. Let me yeah. Don't you have to go through us to hit Volo? Um, he, yes. Yes, I do. Yeah. You do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, it's it's a cantrip. Uh, yeah, but you have to roll that. You still have yes, to roll yes, it. Yes, yes, I do. Yep. Yep, and and like this I have, fine. I have two beams, so I'm aiming for him and this metal oh, okay. thing that I've never seen before. <laughs> okay, so you guys see him like sure. come out of this door, and he's just like, "Hey, go!" And he's just like, he sees this guy running and this metal oh, man God, casually no. walking. Uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, go ahead. Um, yeah, well, just, well, 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 so I also see that Ash, like she, like she looks like she's in distress kind yeah. of like pulling them out so i don't know if they're injured and that's she's true. like that's trying true. to oh, yeah no. so like i just yeah. got out of a like, yeah. like a puzzle ecstasy yeah puzzle ecstasy only shaka would call it yeah, yeah puzzle, puzzle yeah. ecstasy wow. so like now 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 we got to get down so okay cool uh yeah roll oh, the wow. hit okay we gotta roll for both Celise would know what he's doing wouldn't she all right so no, I, I wouldn't know so i got a which one's for volo uh, the, uh, the, the 25 is for Volo. <laughs> oh my God. That hits. <laughs> and the 17 is for, uh, Nim. The, uh, 17 is for Nim. Okay. Hold on one second. Oh um, dear. Uh, Ooh. Volo hits for sure. Um. <laughs> wow. You didn't waste any time with that, did you? Uh, and wow. Nim. Rip. <laughs> and how much, how much was Nim? 17. Yeah. Yeah. That 17. hits too. Uh, so go ahead. Roll, oh, no. uh. Damn it. Oh, no. 17 doesn't hit Nim. Oh. Yeah, sorry. Oh. That, it does metal, not. that metal shell. Yeah, so he's just walking along, and this blast goes right past him, and it hits the burning house that was actually <laughs> smoldering out, but reignites the house. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> reignites the house really quickly. Uh, but Nim just, like, looks behind him, mm -hmm. looks forward. Uh, but go ahead. Hit uh, hit mm -hmm. Volo. All right. Oh, my God. So that's one damn one. Six. Six. Okay. Uh, he goes, he's like, um, oh, wait, wait for wait. me. Oh, wait. So, sorry, 10. Sorry. 10. Oh, gosh. Oh, so, okay. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, I, yeah. I get a four modifier on the uh, damage. <laughs> well, I'm like out of breath. I'm like so nervous. 
So he's running. He's like, oh, wait for me. You'll definitely need. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes flying back. He gets hit oh, with no. this huge Eldritch Blast. And he just like tumbles. And he's just like grabbing his stomach, rolling like uh, on the ground. Uh, right. So Shaka, what did you do that for? Right. So, so I'm like, guys, <laughs> I saw I saw this weird guy ch- chasing you guys. Didn't have time to think. I just had to take him out. I had to blast him. It, uh, 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 and I'm gonna run over to Volo. Can you heal though? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, is that what you're I, I run over to Volo. Why are you running over to him? He was just trying to we catch up. Get he away. wasn't attacking us. Are you sure? Because Ash Ash looks like she's like distressed. Ash is just you grumpy. guys look super injured. I'm not. What injured. is going on? Well, I'm assuming that you're injured because you didn't because you didn't come back <laughs> to yeah. the room and there was a puzzle. So I figured you would have came back. <laughs> you didn't come back. I assume the worst. I waved at you and you said, OK, I have it. And I that wasn't went back an OK wave. That was a, Shaka. hey, I'm dealing with a puzzle. Come help me wave. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I feel pantomiming in, in paladin school. Uh. And uh, as um, Ash is by Volo, um, she's still so very angry at the whole situation. It's like, um, you have information for us, and uh, just uh, just hold still for like a second. Stop being a little baby. I'm yeah, not, tell him. Yes. I'm not a baby. You're not. Oh, and I'm. Gonna, you are the baby. I'm not a baby. Yeah, why are you crying? Like I'm a gonna baby? do cure wounds, but I'm gonna slap him. <laughs> <laughs> but it's gonna cure wounds. Okay. What do you? Oh uh, what do you cure? Wouldn't for? that be laying on of hands though? <laughs> that's true. That's true. I don't even have to touch him, but I'm gonna. <laughs> you're gonna slap. You're gonna do one point of damage. Uh-huh. So roll, yeah. like, roll a d4. Roll a d4. Great. Do some damage oh to God. him with your slap. One. One. Okay. That's so perfect. you deal one. Da- yeah. <laughs> bit of damage, and then you heal him. And I'm gonna. Heal him. Oh my God. Uh, what did you do that for? Oh man. And then it's a four plus three. So seven. seven. Okay. So I slap some healing into him. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I have a very high constitution. No, you lady. owe me. Uh, Wait, is 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 this a friend, guys? We're Shaka. not sure. Shaka, perhaps you're unaware. Everyone that is behind us is not necessarily an enemy, as I told you long, long ago. Uh, a cut to that scene. Oh. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see Shaka and Perrin walking down the street, yeah, and Shaka oh thinks everyone is his enemy that's right. behind him. Right. As I told you once before, a friend is an enemy you just haven't met yet. Thanks. <laughs> and please allow well. me to introduce to you Volo, traveler extraordinaire by his own account. Takes off his n- yeah. imaginary hat. Regular guy, Mick. M- ordinary. She's obviously introducing herself. And uh, this is Nim. Nim is um a really cool clockwork person that that Rin found in a trunk in an abandoned house. Where is Rin, by the way? Guys, where's Rin? Rin has gone. Gone where? Where did you, did you see him go? I saw him go to the house we were at. Oh. You mean the burning house? Like the one that I lit on more fire? Uh, Nim turns around. No. The house we came from. The building. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, what's your purpose here, Nim? Purpose? Hmm. I mean, you're a robot. You have to have some kind of purpose, master, directive, prime directive. I am not a robot. I am Nim. I am a nimble right. I am not a nimble right. I am Nim. All right, definitely Rin's a uh, definitely Rin's a robot. Um, <laughs> uh, all right, so I I apologize and Volo, v- 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 I'm sorry for blasting you with that pretty sweet Eldritch blast while it, holding a treasure chest. It wasn't. It didn't deal that much damage to me. Thank you very you much. I went over like a. Well, you crumble like a oh. sad piece of paper. I, I beg like, your pardon. Like a leaf in autumn. It was not You're a just leaf. like like a like a tipped <laughs> over can of leaf soda. In, leaf in autumn, gracefully so falling slams from her the foliage. Shield down <gasps> on the ground, it's like shut up. I was just telling. Them shut it. Sh- but they were. Shit. Sh- sh- I can finish what to. the smite started. 
Well, uh, since since we are are being quiet right now and everyone's being healed, would someone like to heal everyone's favorite bard? <laughs> I'm about to cast another LG. <laughs> uh, oh, so no. Elise is yeah. like, uh, you need healing, you say. I, I am a little uh, worse for wear. After you've slammed your shield, I got a little bit of PSTD or PTSD. I am so uh, just verklempt that I don't know how to say things anymore. Uh, you hurt me a little while ago. Oh, that's right. I guess Make I should pain heal go you. Away. <laughs> so Celise gives a really devious grin to Ash and raises a hand. <laughs> and Ash looks at him with sparkly anime eyes like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm not really going to slap. I'm really not going to slap this row. But she does this. But she does it way more harder than she needs to. <laughs> like slaps him on the forehead to lay on hands. <laughs> uh, are, you, are you trying to hurt him? or are I'm you... trying to actually heal him, but it's just like, she's just like, I'm not passing up this opportunity. Okay. Uh, roll, uh, roll a d4. I love this just slap. I don't have a d4 this out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just roll a d4. Why I just want to. It looks like a Jolly Rancher. <laughs> it does look like a Jolly Rancher. It's a crystal. It's a three. Yeah, so you deal three damage to Perrin with. Oh, with, no, I wasn't trying to hurt him. Hey. You weren't trying not to hurt him. Right. <laughs> that's that's uh, the cons of the slap heel. <laughs> uh, so you palm his head like a basketball. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I want to say no one really sees it, but like you both know that you're holding him up just an inch off the ground. He's <laughs> just like dangling on the ground, just a little bit. Uh, and you heal him. How much you heal him for? Oh, guys, eight for, D eight or D twenty for healing. Uh, what what are you doing? Uh, just healing. Just. How much are you wounds. down? I don't even remember. How much I'm, are you down? I'm, uh, I'm now down 13. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, no. <laughs> um, I don't know what you want. What, um, oh, God. I don't know what I don't, can. Let's see. Oh, Cure Wounds is right here. Um, D8 plus yeah. my spell cast modifier. All right. All right. Let's, Make it happen. Let, let's hope it <laughs> <Please>. likes you. <laughs> For my spell modifier is, oh, God, what is it? I never know that number. Uh, three. So you get six back. Okay. Woo. But she's just like. The but most you also went down three. <laughs> right, right, exactly. So I got three back. Yeah. So and she just did that just because she could get away. <laughs> How do you feel? How do you feel when that happens? Uh, in the uh, right circumstances, Celise, that would have been a pleasurable undertaking. <laughs> Oh, whoa. okay. <laughs> That's the last time I asked <laughs> questions. I'm not asking parent questions anymore. <laughs> Celise just like makes the most disgusting <laughs> Cassandra <laughs> in the grass, penny ass face ever. <laughs> And like just scoots away from him, like no. In uh, in Farron's head, there's uh, that song from that famous uh, bard, uh, um, Garvin May. Uh, uh, wow. When I get that feeling, no, I want aggressive <laughs> healing, <laughs> aggressive <laughs> healing. Ooh, those are good harmonies. Right. <laughs> that's I like it. That's, yeah. Is that our new theme right. for this party? Yeah. Yeah. Aggressive healing. Aggressive healing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so you guys are all slapped up? Yeah, all slapped up, ready to go. <laughs> all slapped up, ready to go. Okay, so um, do you guys trust uh, these two? Because I have uh, I have some news from the, the tailor shop. And we found him on the street, I guess. I mean, okay. he's a little crumpled right now. Okay. I mean, I could just kind of scoop him up and throw him back in the building if he keeps giving us lip. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we could share it in front of him because like, we could just... If not, we're all faster than him. And him, if anybody. Okay, so guys, I found this chest and I hold it up. And <laughs> <laughs> most it's definitely tiny, the Zelda. Tiny, like, no, yeah. I'm, I'm holding it up like this. <laughs> yeah, okay. For sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I missed that reference. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. It should be a better DM. I should know that one. I get that reference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, and then I uh, take out the note. Um, and, and I read it out. Um, so, uh, so, uh, guys, so the original note says, wait, wait, did it say, I'm sorry, Shaka, but the princess is in another dungeon. <laughs> oh, uh, may, uh, you know, th there might be small sc scribing on there, but it did not say that. Oh. See the old man above the waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's dangerous. Well, no, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. dangerous. Well, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, but but no, it it like does say like there is a hell. I've seen it, but 
First of all, that's pretty cool, even though we have no idea what it means. I mean, that's but, really scary. <laughs> but if we take out this candle here that I also found, and do I have any mechanism to light it? No, you can you yeah. can light it. Yeah, and can, I, I think I we have tender tinder yeah, can, boxes. Can, can, can you like cast light on the? Yes. Can, would that work? You guys yes. are having this conversation. On the There's an apartment b- burning down behind you. <laughs> oh, <that's, laughs> oh, we're still we're still having that conversation. Yeah. We are we're still bad we, we get fire right now. Right. Uh, I don't know. How would we possibly? <laughs> <laughs> can I hold the wings. candle up to like a yeah, bowl? That's yeah. true. That's true. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. So can can you? Ca- I don't know if that works. Um, I, I I'm gonna reach light. into my bag and get a tinder box. I mean, have- I can definitely cast <laughs> light. And yeah, but it, I don't think that would like. And it, I can make it whatever color I want. I don't know if it's the color though. It's, okay, okay. I, I'm I'm gonna trust Ash here. Okay, okay. so so can, can you use the Tinder to <laughs> yeah. make a fire? Yeah, it's basically a match. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I light <laughs> the Tinder. <laughs> I love that. I like that. Oh, okay, cool. You're gonna be my sound effects cool. guy. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm, Michael I'm, Winslow. I'm, yeah. Oh. Shaka Winslow. <laughs> Shaka Winslow. <laughs> <laughs> I got the beeps, the beeps, <laughs> and the beeps. <laughs> If there are any Police Academy themed RPGs, <laughs> let me know. Yeah. I, would, oh I would be very down. It'd be Steve Gutenberg. I'd, I'd be Tackleberry. Okay. Um, wow. <laughs> um, no yeah. So, so I hold the note over it, and I show them that like there's a map on it, and that and that the uh, bottom says says like there's a heaven we have to protect it. Or or um, it? There is um, a hell. Believe me, I've seen it. There is a heaven. Let's Dude, keep it a secret. Let's keep it a secret. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so so does anybody recognize this map? I already oh. checked it against the pocket map that we got um, when we first got here. Couldn't notice anything. I think it might be a map of some of the underground pathways, but I'm not sure. Anybody recognize it? May I roll? Yeah, can I roll? Yeah, roll in uh, investigation, both of you. Oh, natural 20. Yeah, yeah 20. Sweet. Okay, uh, Perrin, it doesn't ring a bell to you. You're looking at it. Uh, you're, yeah, you're looking at this candle more than you're looking at the thing. Uh, <laughs> but, Ash, you don't notice, uh, you, you don't, none of it's ringing a bell as far as the intricate, like, left, right of, of it uh, mm-hmm. all. But the starting point, the starting point looks... Very familiar to you. Uh, you rolled a nat. Tw- it was a nat twenty, right? Yeah. Not modified. Oh yeah. Um, it looks like the starting point. It, the drawing of it looks exactly like the hole in the ground that you saw Ooh. in that bu- in that cellar building where the Grell's nest is. You guys, this is where I was taking you. This is um. In the basement of that creepy abandoned house, there's this big hole. There's there's a lot of grell, and um, they made their nest. And, and this uh, part of your map looks like the entrance to uh, that hole. Okay. Would I know what a grell is since I didn't see the Rule history. See if you know what that is. I'm like, what are you talking about, Ash? <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen, yeah. You 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 know about Grells. You've heard about them. You don't know the specifics about, okay, you know, okay. the race or whatever, but okay. you know they're kind of like this okay. floating yeah. uh, brain with a beak and ten- and like yeah. tentacles. You guys ran it's, into Grell? Yeah, yes. it was so or, scary. Or Octobird. Octobird. <laughs> oh. Octobird is also the Oh, one. I thought it was a beholder. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, did you guys kill it? We killed then one of we, them. We killed one. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, we killed one. Volo, who, <laughs> who was we? You who weren't even you? there. I was there. I yep. helped. You were scared throwing rocks to get our attention to fight for you. I had already done a lot of the damage before you have gotten there. Ash. It was oh. terrified of me. Yeah, yes, Lise. What do we do to liars? We pinch him. What? And I'm oh, gonna no. pinch him. Don't pinch me. Pinching's not good enough. <laughs> oh, what do we? Whoa. Well, whoa. pinching's okay. I'm whoa. okay with pinching. <laughs> what do we do with liars? In my house, we used to pinch. Uh, I like, don't know. You get a punch for every time you lie <laughs> in, in the temple. Well, that, I don't want to grow in up. In the face. I don't want to grow up where, where she grew up. <laughs> <laughs> and what is that supposed to mean? There's nothing. I feel like I could do no right whenever I talk. It's almost as if you guys don't want me to talk at all. Hey, well, we don't want you to lie. I'm not lying. Unless that's a lie. Volo, what were you doing in the, 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 that building? I was tracking down, I was trying to track down my friend, and I think I found the culprit. Who was the culprit? 
that thing we just killed together. Oh. <laughs> hand in hand. Oh, all right. Me and you. Uh, what? What uh, was your name again? Smash? It's Ash. Ash. Same yeah. thing. I'm calling you Smash. I kind of like it. It's pretty I cool. Don't... You want to admit that I... All Bolo right. and smash. <laughs> okay. So we start tapping her sword on her shield and just looking at them like, this is the one more word and no one's getting dinner luck. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Can, can, can we talk and walk to yeah. this hole? We were until they started. Well, uh, follow me. Yeah. I... No, no, no. Positive things that I'm going to say. Um, Follow me. I know the way to the hole. Okay. Let's go to the hole. Things Guys, like, don't you think we should get reinforcements or something? Or okay, reinforcements. I'm, I'm just saying. Uh, people have been disappearing. Do you know who we are? I have no idea who you are. Okay, good. All right, <laughs> <laughs> no reinforcements. Let's go to the hole. Uh, it's gonna draw attention, Volo. We get reinforcements. There, there will uh, not be a need for extra attention, as and I uh, parent points back behind us. This giant house is ablaze. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think a lot of the attention will be diverted elsewhere. Yeah, also, also, there's an old tiefling saying, real G's move in silence like lasagna. <laughs> That's what we're doing. We got to be silent. Okay? <laughs> like lasagna? Like lasagna. We have to be who, silent. Uh, who, qu- what, what, what are, who are you quoting? I don't know what lasagna is. It sounds very cool. <laughs> um, so. What was the saying again? Real G's new silence. Like lasagna. Yeah, like lasagna. <laughs> what does that mean? That means layered and full of cheese. <laughs> oh. Sure. Yeah, you get now. it? It's like yeah, smooth. You know, be, because the G in the word is silent. You don't pronounce oh. the G. Like lasagna. Yeah. Uh, oh, I actually get it now. <laughs> the puns are crazy. I'm going to write that down. Use it in my next book. Puns unraveled. I can't believe I, I wrote that right now. Okay. Seems so, unlike me. So but. the point is, we have to be silent. So no, uh, you know, aside from the burning building, but, but, but like, you know, in this area of town, I'm, I, it seems like the type of area where buildings would spontaneously combust, <laughs> combust anyway. <laughs> so I think we're good. So let's head to the hole, guys. So um, I, I imagine that um, as we're talking about this, we are actually walking. Okay. I yeah. hope so. Yeah. You're, I, very, you're very close to the building. Yeah. Like you were right outside the tailor shop. You you do notice, uh, as Shaka says, that there are people going to the building. Uh, some of them are trying to put out the fire as well because all these buildings are connected to other buildings. Yeah. But they are brick. Um, oh, so God. it would take a while to to move from building to building. Um, but yeah, that's what's happening. And then so Ash goes to the window <laughs> that um, I was able to sneak in. And um, I kind of open it. And I, this, this down here, that, that's where I snuck in. Might I suggest, since I have a, a long and storied history with the grill, that we try to be as quiet as possible. I like lasagna. Like, like the aforementioned lasagna. Right. I agree. Yeah. You agree? I 100% agree. I, I bet I could be more quiet than you. I don't think you could. All right, I'm pretty sure I could. Well, I'm, watch this. I'm a mouse, and I go in. We must. Oh, be you go in. People. Mm-hmm. Actually, I look. I look in first. I'm gonna be smart. <laughs> I'm gonna look in first. I'm gonna look in. <laughs> okay, what are you looking in for? I'm gonna see um, the two growl that were kind of coming at me. I want to see if they're gone or. Roll investigation. Okay. That is 11. 11. Okay. So you look in, you see that it does look a little different. Not so much things have, um, looks things have stirred. Like the, you can see from your vantage point, you can see one nest. And if you poke your head deeper, you can see the hole. But because there's barrels stacked up in these like little maze type sections of the room uh, separating the mess, you don't know if there's someone on the other side of the barrel. Like they could be on the other side. There's because remember, there's three nesting points and oh, the yeah. open hole. So as far as you know, one of the nests is, is empty uh, and there's nothing by the hole. Now, that doesn't mean that there isn't one in each nest, one, two in one nest or right. them in the hole. We don't know. Okay. But that's all you see. Um, you guys, when, when I went in here, there were two girls, um, trying to get after me. So if, if we're going to go this way, we have to be really, really careful. Yeah. Do you think we can get in the hole? Like, is, is the growl nest over the hole? Is it separate? 
it's separate. Um, the the nests are on top, and then um, at the end of the room, there's this big hole that mm-hmm. um, looks like it was dug out, and not by Grell. It looks like it was dug out by people, because it it looks well done. It's not um, like a burrow. Okay. We should go for the hole then. I mean, not not try to get in a fight we don't have to get in. Let's let's uh well I suggest I don't know what like you guys would think, but one by one we try to sneak past this into the hole. And uh what do, what what do you guys think? I think this is an opportunity for Perrin to show what Perrin does and take point upon you all. <laughs> I, I like mean, this guy a lot. I could toss you. I could try to toss you into the hole, actually. I there think you is, could fit. There is no need for any little people tossing. So the if so the, the window that's close to the ground, um Ash will be able to fit, uh Perrin would be able to fit. I think Volo would be able to fit. Well maybe. He might be a struggle. He's kinda Winnie the Pooh. Um Shaka, you'll probably have to roll to see if you can squeeze in through. Salise, with your armor, you're not going to be able to make it through that. Um, this is the same building um, that Ren was at as well. Um, so you can try a different way in. Um, you could also just like try. Yeah, you could also just Wait, try different things. Is uh, Nim with us? Nim is mm-hmm. still right behind you. He's kind of standing in the street while you guys okay. are in this like little. I'm going to ask Nim then because he came from the building. So Nim, are there any other ways to get in this building besides the window? Oh yes, me and the elf came in through the side on the first floor. Okay, is there a door, window, hole? Like what? What is it? He made a hole on the side of the wall. Okay. Do you, Do you think it'd be big enough for uh, Salise and I to fit through? Yes, you can make it through. All right. Well, I don't want to leave Celise by herself, so I think... I, I'll be okay by myself. <laughs> <laughs> I can go with you, too. You know that, right? Uh, well, no, I think both of us should go through that hole, is what I'm saying. Oh, the hole that you're going to climb into? Or no, the the, that... so I'll have to roll to get in the hole, and I don't want to risk failing <laughs> and hurting myself. So, <laughs> so I'm going to make it sound like I'm helping you out. But I'm really helping, <laughs> I'm really helping, <laughs> I'm really helping myself out, is Where's what I'm saying. Where is this going? Yeah. Yeah. Fine, let's let's go find the hole that Rin made. L- L- Nim, let's, can let's you go. lead us there? Nim, come on. Of course. Let's go. Follow me. And he starts walking to the side of the building. So he leaves um, uh, Ash and Perrin and Volo. Mm-hmm. Uh, so... Uh, we split the party again. Uh, what's the song? How does the song go? It's like split the party, split, split the party, split the party, split, split the party. I'm glad we all have rhythm, guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was a bad joke there. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a washcloth joke there. <laughs> <laughs> no one gets that joke but us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, they um now I distracted myself. <laughs> the hole. The hole. <laughs> yes. So you guys are uh staring at this hole. Uh you already took a look around. How do you guys what do you guys do? What do you what do you guys want to do? Uh Ash. Yeah. Where exactly is the hole? I'm gonna go in first and um I'll 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 be able to lead you to it when I get there. It's at the end, so you're going to go straight, and then you're going to turn, well, it's like left or right from the hole. Uh, right. You're going to turn right, and it's going to be, um, go straight, but you're going to pass some nests. So if you want to go first, you can. I perfectly understand. I'll take point. Okay. You... I'll make sure that this one doesn't do anything stupid. And I'll make sure she doesn't do anything to me. Exactly. Pretty urchins. And chips? Mm. And chips pops out of my bag. And Ugh. he's like, um, mm. been eating a lot of like the jerky and like the rations that I've had. And so he's been just chilling. Just really not, nothing has been bothering him. All right. So, uh, I'm going to make my way stealthily to, to the hole. Um, since I know Grell are here and I know they're uh, very susceptible to noise, should I roll for stealth? Uh, yeah, roll stealth. While you're walking over, uh, I want um, Volo to uh, just start telling facts about Grells to uh, um, to Ashbourne. Okay. 
20. Ooh, nice. not, not, not Nat. Oh, yeah, okay. Modified, modified, modified. 20. Awesome. Uh, you slip in, and if this was a movie, they wouldn't even put sound effects of you slipping in. It would just be like a cat, like you just hit the ground. Um, the way you're walking, there's some straw patches on the ground. You're able to like jump gracefully from each one. It's almost like a dance. If we were watching, uh, if we were watching the movie of this, uh, it would be very similar to you stepping through like a laser beam field. Uh, we don't hear anything. Um, dun, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Dun, dun. <laughs> and I'll say, you know, 20, yeah, you make it to this hole. Um, that's right there. And I, uh, I look back and I go, Oh, like a rat or yeah. yeah. That's cool. And we had talked about this before, and I know it's a thing. <laughs> uh, while you're up there, yeah. and you're trying to concentrate, Volo mm-hmm. is just being totally distracting. He, You just hear him like, it's just really quiet, and you're trying to watch Perrin jump mm-hmm. from place to place, and you hear, you know what they call a nest of coven. What? Grells. A coven? The nest. They're called covens. Okay. Like witches. Have you ever met a witch? Have I ever met a witch? Yeah. She meet my ex-wife. <laughs> he starts like jingling <laughs> you with his elbow. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna get like stabbed. In you the understand? With her, with her claw you know what I'm talking about? What's the deal with that Celise, huh? Skip over, skip over to Celise. <laughs> <laughs> If Celise is like Seinfeld. <laughs> What's the deal <laughs> with Celise? Wow. Uh, her her eyes she, narrow. She, <laughs> she, <laughs> she, she goes like her ears like right. buzz a little bit. <laughs> uh, we see uh, from Celise's point of view, she is following this nimble right uh, between two buildings. The nimble right is so slight that it's just walking straight forward but you guys kind of have to like shimmy through like that it's not tight for you at all it's just mm-hmm. not it, it just wouldn't well, be you just can't walk yeah you just can't walk straight forward it's not tight at all though so you're just like walking walking and then you see the hole um that's uh, on the side mm-hmm. of the um the wall you see uh nim press his uh feet and hands against the wall like this climb up to one side slide over and then go through the hole and he's inside. I can't do that trick, but let's see what we can do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you Roll dex or roll acrobatics. Oh, God. I'm so going to die. Three. Oh. Three. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Uh, so, Lisa, you were first. Uh, y- you see him go. I mean, it looks... It looks like he was copying the way someone else did it. So you imagine that's the way Ren uh, probably got out of that place. Uh, It it doesn't matter, though. You're like, oh, I know how to climb inside a hole. This is easy. And just, you know, you go in. Uh, Shaka, you you, uh, go to pull yourself up and uh, two bricks actually like fall in while you're trying to pull yourself. Um, You don't hurt yourself, but you drag three bricks in. You're kind of on the ground. You're just like covered in dust and dirt now. But you are Mm. inside. Okay. It okay. wasn't very graceful. Made it. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you sure? That sounded really, really painful. Uh, it was all right. I'll, I'll, I'm good. I made it. He's still on a puzzle high right now. I'm yeah. Yeah, I'm yes. good. Puzzle ecstasy. He's reaches over. <laughs> puzzle ecstasy. I'm still on puzzle ecstasy. For sure. So he's like, just tries to dust him off like, uh, you got a little dust there. Got, mm-hmm. uh, it's, it's fine. Nim. Yes, yep. I am Nim. Where's the hole? What hole? Oh wait! Oh, you don't know where the hole is. Wait, wait. Okay, we're, <laughs> okay. Can can you take us to where the window was that the others climbed through? Oh, we just left the window on this in from inside the building. So you are on the first floor. Uh, mm-hmm. So they would walk up like uh, the first floor of the building, whatever. Um, they came in through this window yeah. that's right on the cellar. Um, so. Yeah, mm-hmm. like a basement window. But he would know because he, he would know the building, right? So Nim's been. Oh, ask him. <laughs> I, I, I mean, okay, Nim, since you knew where this hole was, I assume that you would know how to get from this hole to where the others entered. 
I do not. I was found today. The game is over. What, what game? game? The hide and seek we were playing. With who? With Rin? No, with Ivy. Who's Ivy? Ivy's my person. What does Ivy look like? Oh, Ivy is about 10 years old. She has long hair, and we were playing hide and seek. When did you start the game? Um, s- seven, 70 years ago. Oh my God. <laughs> you know that humans oh. don't live very long, right, Nim? Humans do not live long. Oh, no. Humans get sick. I hate to tell you this, but you probably won't find Ivy. Oh, but Ivy is looking for me. She could be, but not here. Yeah. Oh. Do you know what the life expectancy of a human is? Humans come and go all the time. Yeah. My first humans, they lived long. Their kids did not. My guess is Ivy didn't live to 80. Oh. Yes, Nim, I'm sorry. Then I have no person. Well, Rin found you. He's an elf. They live long. Yeah. Hmm. I need to think longer before I choose my next person. That's fair. Okay. While you're thinking, can you use some knowledge of the house to help us get to where the others entered the window? I do not know this house. I've been in this trunk. They have moved me from place to place. But at night, I hear movement below. Below? And he points down to the floorboards. Can you tell what is moving? No. Sometimes there is yelling. Shaka? Okay, um, so we can either investigate this or we can go, like, we, we need to find where the rest of the party is, right? So so you're on the first floor. They're in yeah. the cellar below. They're coming in through a basement. You guys went to the first floor yeah. of it, so you're right above them. But do we know that? Yeah. Do our characters know that? Yeah. I think so, yeah. You went around the building. Uh, okay. So they were on one side of the building. You guys walked around, went up a little bit, and then went through the top of the floor. Okay. So... Yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, Nim, can you uh, op- can you open the floorboards or show us stairs? Hmm. I do not see stairs. Can you bust through the floorboards? Oh yes, I can. Please do so. Um, are you sure? And he, <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> like, like I- you see his fingers. His fingers are. Um, they're thin and, uh, flat, like almost like crowbars, like little crowbars, like little tiny crowbars. Are they always like that? Yeah. I mean, most of his, most of his body is not round. It's very square, uh, like bars and uh, like little pipes maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, but they're all mechanical and they all move. Like you could hear it. Um, he only hesitates, um, because... You can tell he's very courteous. You can tell that he is very proper and obeys like, you know, uh, uh, what, what's the word? Uh, obedient? Yeah, he's very obedient. Yeah. He wouldn't be lifting up floorboards. In, so Nim says, are we being bad? No. No, no, we're not being bad. We just have to get back to our friends. That's all. And there are no stairs. Oh, Okay. Well, persuasion, both of you, because you're not. It's not deception. You guys are being persuaded. Yeah, uh, twenty-three. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Sixteen. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right. Friends. Friends are almost family. And he uh, slides his fingers down between two cracks and cracks it open. Uh, you guys, it's in the middle of the cell like above the cellar so you can see you can now see down uh two planks two wooden planks um you are in the middle it does make noise though mm. go on um 
I just imagine that um, Ash and uh, Volo are already in there. Oh, you go in? Yeah. Okay, let's cut to that real okay. quick. Uh, this is right before it cracks. Uh, yeah. Okay. Perrin, you're still chilling? Uh, I'm at the hole. I'm waiting for, for yeah. Ash and Volo to get mm -hmm. to the hole and maybe Solis and, and Shaka if they ever make their way. Cool. So. Okay. So, um, well, yeah, Volo's just telling me things. Yeah. Right. Okay. Shh. We're going to just want to sneak in. I have more grill facts if you want to hear it. I don't, I don't okay. want to hear them. That's fine. It's yeah. Uh, it's cool. but, uh, we have to be stealthy. All right. So okay. like keep all your grill facts. Put them in a package Got it. and just keep them for later. No, okay, I'm like a doggy bag of facts for me later. <laughs> but I can, can you do that? I I would, would prefer a book or something. I could put it in a book. And I um, oh, what a great idea. Of, uh, slink in there and I try to. Oh, we're just going in. Okay. Yep. Well, um, uh, Come on. Roll uh, stealth for me. Um, seven plus five is twelve. Twelve. Okay. <laughs> um. I will say you're not, um, you don't arouse suspicion, but you are like nothing moves after you go down there. Yeah. Um, that you can tell, mm -hmm. basically. Okay. Um, let's see what Volo gets. Ooh, yeah. Volo, you know when you see like a mouse go through a hole? And you think it's not going to fit because it's only the size of a dime right. or something like that. Right. But it makes its way through like it's fluff just like goes like it's more fluff right. than anything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's how he kind of that's how he kind of works. Like uh, it's kind of like putting like a water balloon through like a, <laughs> <laughs> you know, through a ring. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he like uh, not slings down, but like slurps down, like <laughs> slumps down. Uh, slump is a real word that I have coined myself. Slump. Um, but yeah, he makes it down, and he's really quiet, and he's right behind you. Cool, cool. So we're just um, going to sneak towards where the hole is. There it is. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Uh, you make it down. Right when you get to uh, the end of uh, the hole where uh, Perrin is, you turn around. and Let's see what the floorboard noise makes. You hear a large crack, like, mm. um, and I yell, "Hit the deck!" And I grab Volo and I try to like shield him. Okay, uh, like tackle him down. Yeah. So, yeah. um, where this is happening? So, imagine you're on the south side of the room, where the board is uh, coming up from is like the north side. So, almost around parallel where the w window was on the side. Oh, so it's not like directly above us. No, no. It's okay. No. Then I'm put, instead of ducking down, I'm grabbing him and running forward to Perrin. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are there. You guys are yeah. in that direction. Um, you two roll perception for me. Ooh, nine. Okay. Six. Six. Yeah. Uh, you look down and your eyes are adjusting to the darkness because it's very dark I down there. Night vision. Um, oh, that's true. Yeah. Oh, you still don't notice it. Uh, <laughs> you, you can see through the dark, but you're focusing on things that like y you're focusing on nothing specific. You notice barrels. You notice these nests. Okay. To you, there's really nothing on the ground. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, you see these nests on the ground. You see these barrels reach up to the ceiling, like, as close as you are. Um, from where you are, you actually see that if you want to climb down, where you pulled up the boards is where there's a partition of barrels that reach to the ceiling. So you could probably just knock one and then go down like stairs. Okay. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, cool. Climbing down. Cool. Uh, you doing the same? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Roll... Uh, roll acrobatics, acro or acrobatics or athletics. athletics, whatever you want. 13. Okay. What do you got? Oh, that's so much better. 18. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, you knock this, you knock the barrel down or do you try to pull the barrel up um, and put it on, on top? If I'm strong enough to pull it up, I definitely try that. Yeah. Roll strength. You're eight. My worst, uh, <laughs> worst one. Six. Six. Oh God! It's a barrel. I I think Shaka could pick up a barrel. It could be a heavy barrel. Though. It could be a heavy we barrel. Don't know but what's in the they barrel. are yeah. empty. They are empty. I think oh, I said they're it empty like, barrels. Oh, last so, episode, I think I sorry, said they're empty. Yeah. I, I missed that. No. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you pull it up. Um, you make a little noise when you like uh, goes through the hole, and 
you go down. Do you go down the left side of the partition or the right side of the partition? Um, I'm going to go right. Okay. Because right would be, if you go to the right, that's kind of where the cellar window is, where they came in. Mm-hmm. Um, so you would, you would have been following their side. To the left, you know that's the side that you came in from up above the building. So you don't, that's the other side of the partition that they weren't able to see. Oh. Um, so if we both go down separate partitions, we'll be in separate... Yeah. Based on what Ash told you when yeah. she looked at the room, she didn't see what was behind that partition that you okay. just pulled up. So I think I'm going to wait and go down right right after Salisa. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you went down, uh, went down fine, sneaky. You can see Perrin, Ash, and Volo. Volo's like, like waving his hand jubilantly uh, mm-hmm. under Ash, like because Ash tried to save him from yeah. whatever, <laughs> which is which he's also like, oh, this is weird. She's trying to save me now. We were and, just at odds. <laughs> I should write a book about a romantic comedy about this. <laughs> and uh, are we to a pair of smash? Romancing the growl. <laughs> <laughs> Romancing the growl. <laughs> and Ash is like, this is a person here <laughs> that I saved. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, you head over, Salise? Yeah, I go over, but I'm like glaring at Volo, like, I see you. Why are you waving? Come on. We gotta keep quiet. No more Grelfax. Yeah, he's he's banned from Grelfax to the rest of the trip. Banned. Banned. <laughs> Do I have to put you back out of the window, one of you? No, 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 we're fine, we're fine. I'm fine, I'm cool. Yeah, we're cool, we're cool. Cool ice, as cold. ice, ice cold, ice cold, ice cold, you know cold. what I mean? Like Glacier smooth even. and yeah. like chilled water. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get so drunk when we go back to the hideout. You and me both. <laughs> Who said you're coming oh, with I'm us? Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, no, the, the nice 12 year whiskey I've got in my room is not for you. <laughs> okay. Where's, um, where's Shaka? He was right behind me. Oh, no. Oh no, oh no! I mean, he's a tiefling. You can't miss him. I, I know, but but there's there's grell. This is a grell nest. What if he's eaten? I'm sure he would yell if he saw one. I'm gonna um, <laughs> kind of stay here, Volo, and I'm just gonna kind of like walk over to see Don't if I can. Be here with him. Why? Like, oh, I can handle it. I'll protect you. Don't right. worry. Salisa <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, so actually did start laughing, and she's like, "Oh, hold on." <laughs> like like the idea of him protecting her. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Uh they of all the noise that is being made right now, uh and laugh. Crit success. Your oh. giggle. Your giggle. Uh wow. you hear stirring. Um roll uh perception for me. All from a giggle. All from a giggle. That's well, not even a loud giggle. We hear it. They oh. hear it, man. Thirteen. Thirteen. You see you look down and you see this nest. And you mm-hmm. saw it before. There's no grell on this nest at all. Like, mm-hmm. But you hear stirring, and this time as you look closer, you notice the tentacles are near the nest. Like, How can that be? Because you can't see it. And you remember, they float. So while you're looking down, its head is right below Ooh. the board that you're standing on. Ooh. Uh Make a dexterity uh, save. Oh, no. Eight. Eight. Uh, So this grell swings its tentacle up. You weren't expecting it at all, and it is going to hit you. Uh, It definitely hits. Let me go to... uh, I'm going to pull this guy up real quick. Okay, uh, it definitely hits, and I need you to make. Uh, what was your con? What was the con? Uh, well, oh, it, it was a dex. It was yeah, a dex yeah. make a con save now. Seven. Seven, oh, no. yeah. So you have been poisoned. Uh, oh, no. And you take four damage. Uh, its tentacle comes up, and, and one of its barbs just goes right on your leg, it paralyzes you. Um, so you drop, okay. you, you like drop to the ground okay. limp. Can uh, I do a, if I'm paralyzed, can I do a reaction? Uh, 
no, that was your, your save was, uh, oh, okay, the, the deck you. save was your reaction to that, to the barbs hitting you. No, no. I, I mean, I have a, I have a spell that can react after I'm hit. Can I do oh, that? Or after or you're hit, hit if well, I'm powerless? Oh. What's, what's the spell? Or I think I do. Is it hellish rebuke? Yeah, the hellish rebuke. Is it, a, it's a reaction? It's a reaction yeah, spell. Yeah, it's a reaction. Mm-hmm. What does it do? Uh, it's the one that I used to burn my leg when the, uh, intellect devour, uh, Bit me in the alley. Oh, you're going to try to deal damage it? to it? Uh, well, if I can use it, for sure. Um, um, be, 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 because, yeah, it's, yeah, it says it's one reaction which you take in response to being damaged by a creature. Hmm. So, so I don't what's know, the order? Yeah. If, if I'm paralyzed, I don't know if the paralysis would be first. Which one? I think the paralysis hits first. Okay. Right, yeah. I'm pretty sure it would hit first. Okay. Um, so can I, like, scream out or, like... My we did cords. make a cannon for uh, for who who uh, who got hit last time? Uh, was it Ren? Ren, I think it was Ren. Ren got yeah, hit, yeah. so we did make a cannon that he could mumble. Yes. He could mumble talk yeah. while he's paralyzed. Yes. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> so I can mumble <laughs> rap. <laughs> mumble rap. Right. Yeah. Um, oh my god! Yeah. So okay. So, okay. So, okay. so I'm hoping that like they could hear me as I'm rapping about like Xanax and Oxy- 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 Joe, right is, by you. Joe is broken again. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm like, Nim, Nim. Yes. Nim, can you tell them I'm up here and warn them of the grill? Your friends. The friends go down there, warn them about the grill. I'm sorry, warm them up. Warm them about the grill. I am on it. Thank you. Uh, he pokes his head down. Uh, you guys just see an upside, like this nimble right head just like pop down. Uh, there's tentacles in the hole right now that you can see behind him. They're not at all uh, concerned. The tentacles are not at all concerned with this metal uh, person. Uh, it, it looks down it and the nimble right yells. What, exa- what exactly did you say again? <laughs> say it. I said, can you tell them that I'm up here and there's a grill? Okay. Because none of them notice it, I'm assuming. Excuse me. Oh, God. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me. You have a message from your friend. You have a message from your friend. <laughs> oh, what's the message? He says, go, 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 What? You go, 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 go. I don't know what that means. Okay, you're welcome. And he pops his head oh. back up. All done. I think there might be a growl. Oh. Ma'am. Ma'am. I'm, I'm yes. going to go see. Yeah, I'm going to go run and go see. Okay. Uh, how do you guys, you, do you run where you came down? I'm going to go climb back up. Okay. Yeah, where Nim popped down. Because did we see the tentacles by Nim? Um. Yeah, you would have seen it. So we would know sure. that. Yeah, yeah you would yeah. definitely like, see it. Yeah. Well, it's grill. It's a grill. Yeah. So um, I go uh, to Volo, like, you hide behind this barrel. And then I run. I'm doing my part. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> oh. he hides behind a barrel. Yep. And Salise is like, I hope the grill eats him. <laughs> I know lots of grill facts. Shut up. I could be very helpful. I and he goes to hide. <laughs> people unheard. <laughs> no, you're and the only just, stuff you <laughs> run, <laughs> run behind them. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, so are you guys going up or are you going around to the other side of the partition? Um, I'm going to go around to the other side of the partition. Okay. I'm going to go up. Up. Uh, I'm going to go around with Ash. Okay, great. Um, so, Salise, you go up, do acrobatics, roll in acrobatics for me. Oh boy, only an eight. Only an eight. You make it. It's not very fast, or I mean, they make it around the corner be- before you even make it halfway up, uh, because the barrels are empty, and you were expecting them to be heavier, uh, and they're kind of wiggling and wobbling. As you guys turn the corner, uh, Ash, you know that there's one nest on that side, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but as you turn the corner, you look up and you see two grells Ooh. right there. You hear in the background. Uh, grow fact, their nest always has two, J- just to let you know. Uh, roll initiative. Oh, no. 19. 19? Can you Eight. keep track of this for me? Eight. Eight. 
up. Uh, roll also. Oh, roll yeah. initiative also. This is initiative D twenty. Three. 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 Okay. Okay. Put uh put the grill right before uh, Shaka. Okay. Cool. Who's first? Salise. Salise. All right. You're running up to the top. So as you're halfway through the barrel, which uh, Shaka moved, allows you to look down on the other side of the partition. Uh, you do see the tentacles are like right by your face, just like flopping, grabbing, you know, grabbing him. As you look down, you can see Perrin and Ashborn turning a corner. And they look like, oh, my God, what is happening? Uh, you are actually you're at the height that's exactly eye level with the roof. So you can see them like two giant heads, like very easily. And they're staring like, back. At and me. they're staring back at you. Yeah. Can I try to grab Shaka or do the tentacles have him too tight? Uh, the tentacles just wrapped around his leg. I th think he would have fallen. He would have fallen down. This all happens oh, no. at like the same time. Um <laughs> You can try to grab him if you want, but it, it would probably be, well, you can... Uh, or basically if I grab him and then he comes free, we'll be both like kind of fall and break our necks. No, I, I see his leg falling off the side of the hole like that. Uh -huh. So you're coming up through the hole. Uh, you can grab his leg and pull him through the hole if you want, or you can go up to the hole and cut the... Or you can cut the tentacle, whatever you want to do. Um, whatever is the least likely to get us both falling and breaking our necks. Um... Lisa, oh God, I mean, then you can't ask me that question. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to try to grab his leg. Okay, you're going to try to pry it from the tentacle? Yeah. Okay, uh, roll strength. Oh, strength, don't fail me. Um, 15. Um, yeah, I'm going to say you can unwind that thing. It's, it's, uh, it went for a kill, but it knows it's not going to, it's not trying to drag him off right now because it needs to protect its nest. So you pull it off something it probably was already thinking it needed to do anyways. Uh, so you pull it off with ease, I would say. Um, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'm Excuse sorry. me. He says, thank you. <laughs> Nim, take him down, back down. Oh, take him down the barrels. Yes, please. Okay. Carefully. Oh, right away. And he uh, picks you up very easily right. uh, and kind of uh, smushes you a little bit, like <laughs> oh, no. almost like in half. Mm. It oh, doesn't yeah. hurt, but that's the only way, the only shape you're going to to get you through uh, oh, no. this hole. Mm. Um, it's like a futon. <laughs> yeah, like, almost a like a futon. collapsible futon. futon. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, me. So quick, out of character can cure wounds, fixes paralysis? Um... I don't, does it cure, it doesn't cure poisoning. No. No, yeah. You would have to have well, some. It cures wounds. Yeah. Oh, it was a thought. No, no. It's a good thought. Yeah. 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 Well, good thought. well, I am wounded. Like, my ego is. Yeah. Really <laughs> <good. laughs> I, I am not licensed in water deep to <laughs> that way. <laughs> uh, who's next? Perrin. Perrin. Oh, really? All right. You just uh, turned this corner. You and Ash are looking up at two giant grills. Two giant grills. So I see these growls and uh, I I look Parent's a little annoyed. Oh, okay. Right? <laughs> um Parent doesn't get annoyed a lot. Parent's annoyed because he told these bastards come in <laughs> here, be quiet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cuz these growl they make, you know, they're attracted to noise. Yeah. And I, you know, like I spent a long time learning, fearing, learning from, and then like uh, being able to overcome the grill. But I oh. understand how serious they are. Yeah. And while I'm all about jokes and fun and games, I don't mess around with the grill. Yeah. There's no need to yeah, mess right? around. Yeah. You know, so I'm sitting around. And uh, he looks up, parents says, I'm tired of these Monday to Friday growl. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I'm, I'm on board. <laughs> <laughs> Polo's in the back. <laughs> oh, this is a good line. <laughs> Pulls out his notebook. <laughs> in this Mickey Ficky house, yes. the grill. Much like my friends right now are the bane of my existence. That gives me an idea. 
Bane upon you all, and I cast Bane. On everybody? No. <laughs> just on the ground. I was like, like what's a twist? <laughs> what's a twist? That would be a quite a twist. <laughs> it turns out all sure. of us. <laughs> wow. Just like, like I, and then Salisa's like, I right. knew it. Cool. I am the villain of the story, right? Okay. Uh, so I'm casting uh, Grell on... Bane. Oh, uh, uh, Bane. Yeah, Bane. Mm-hmm. Uh, Grell on the Banes. <laughs> Bane on the Grells. Um... So they have to do uh, charisma saving throws of 19. Oh, okay. Group number one. No. No. All right. Uh, so I cast. Right. So then. Uh, Just read it. Read it for the. Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah I'll yeah, read it for yeah, everyone else. Yeah, uh, yeah, whenever a target that fails is saving throw. Makes an attack roll or a saving throw before the spell's end. The target must roll a d4 and subtract the number rolled from the attack yep. roll wow. or saving throw. That's awesome. Well, we cast this awesome. using uh, slot two, which is what I'm doing. Oh. High levels. Oh, he's second one. Uh, yeah, it's a third level spell. Uh, you can target one additional creature for, for each slot above the first. Gotcha. So I could, yes, so I can target... Cool. Two, five, and they but. both hit, and these Grells, uh, if you guys are playing the new Spider-Man, after you get hit with one of those shock blasts, those yes. flashbangs, yes. that's what those. Oh, uh, yeah. that's yeah, what the yeah, Grells yeah. are feeling like. Wah, 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 wah. I'm bringing yeah. everything back to Spider-Man. I've been playing go. it a lot. Right. I don't know yes. if you guys have been it's playing great it. Game. Yeah, it's a great I game. Just, I just finished it. It's great. Yes, awesome. Awesome game. Uh, who's next? Ash. So. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Did you want to move or action or? No, no, no. Uh, that is... All I want to do right now, do, unless you need, do you feel like you need some bardic inspiration? <laughs> uh, would I be able to communicate? No, with you, you wouldn't. This is no, all no, no. This is all in the no, same. Yeah, instance. this is you know. This oh, is, this is you asking me. This is me. I mean, I can't do anything, so don't waste it on me. All I right. can't do anything. I'm okay. paralyzed. We'll talk about those questions. Unless in-game. you inspire <laughs> <laughs> in game later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, who's next? Ash. Ash. Okay. So um, Ash um, runs over, sees the Grell. She whips out her longbow mm. and um, fires it at the Grell. Yeah. Okay. Um, Which one? Um, the one that's closest to her. Okay. So. Uh, Isn't Slee still in the way? <laughs> Uh, this is all happening at the same time. Yeah, so okay. Salise is uh, standing on a partition. Partition. She's very close to that grill, though. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So don't crit um, fail. I have a bonus action, but then if I hit, I guess I'll say it. Yeah. Okay. Natural twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Nice. Yeah. That's all right. All right. Celebrate it. Um. So, um. Da, 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 da. So I hit seven, and then I hit. I'll give you the choice two. of you can double damage or you can roll twice for damage. Which one do you want? Because you crit. Oh, I'm going to double damage what I have. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm very nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like Ten, those options. Eight. And then. Da, 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 da. Okay. So um, Ash launches her her bow and as she's launching it, she zooms in and um, her, as her bonus action um, does Slayer's Prey, oh, okay. which gives an extra D6 of damage. So Ash deals a total of 18 damage to Ooh, the ground. Nice. nice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the arrow goes, it sinks right into um, the side of its face uh, and it just like whips back. Can you do the voice? <laughs> yeah. <My phone>. and, <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, gets thrown back. Uh, Right in front of the other Grell. Cool. Who's yeah. next? Uh, the Grell. The Grell. Uh, so that first one uh, it is thrown back. It's a D4, right? You said D4? Or D4, or D4. D4. Yeah, okay. Cool. Ooh, crit fail. Ooh. Uh, so it's, so well, it's it's a negative three. It shocks uh, itself. <laughs> like, like it gives us hope. That, that <laughs> Grell that goes flying back uh, deals damage to the other Grell yes. uh, with oh its barbs. Yes. And it's also so disoriented. Um, it does... La, 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 la. Okay, yeah, it does... A lot of damage to oh, it. Uh, oh, so that yeah. second one starts taking, like, it just starts attacking it, um, starts wrapping its tentacles around. Um, because it's such a failure, the barbs start getting tangled, like, in each other as, oh as they hover. Um, the second growl. Uh, the second growl is uh, going to take, going to try to untangle, it's going to use its turn to try to untangle itself. From that first one, um, 
it's not in a position to attack any of you guys. It's been thrown back uh, far. While this is happening, you guys see uh, Ashburn and Perrin. You see this the nimble right jump down with Shaka in its uh, in his arms. A la the body bodyguard and uh, <laughs> <laughs> slow motion uh, bolo and scenes. I yeah. will always <laughs> love you, and I will always love you. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> 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 wow. uh, jumps down and starts running uh, to that open that open hole. Uh, Volo mm-hmm. is calling him over. Over here, over here, uh, metal, metal person, over here, by the barrels. Um, uh, and Nim runs the side. Who's next? Um, Shaka. Shaka, make a uh, consti- uh, constitution saving throw. 21. Oh, yeah. You are, f- you don't know if it's the shaking, the running, the inspiration bodyguard song being sung. <laughs> that uh, was absolutely <laughs> For sure. For sure. But whatever it is, you start feeling tingling like pins and needles in, uh, in your hands and you can move it. Uh, you don't notice it until you realize you have your arms around him like this. Uh, and you're like, oh, wait. I can move my hands. <laughs> like, that's good. Um, Nim feels it, and he, he lets you down. Sweet. Yeah. Um, and you could have an action or do oh, something. Oh, yeah. I'll have an action. Now, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not in the hole yet, right? So I can still see the grill and stuff? Yeah. Or uh, not in the hole? Oh, I'm sorry. You don't have an action. Uh, it happens at the end of your turn. So that okay. would have been the end of your turn with the Constitution save. All right. Yeah. Um, who's next? Salise, back up at the Salise, top. Salise, back up at the top. Uh, you are standing on top of these barrels. You're looking down. These guys just are in a tangled knot in a corner um, a little bit far. You would have to um, go down the barrels on that side of the partition uh, to hit them. Or you can try to jump, too. If you hit, Or you can go back to the hole. Uh, you have a bunch of options you can do. Um, I was going to try to use Hunter's Mark or Bane, but I'd have to use Blood. No blood magic yet. Mm. Um, I'm going to actually go down and check on Shaka because it looks like they're pretty much fighting each other for the moment. Okay. And I'm not, I don't have a, a ranged weapon. Yeah, so. for sure. So you, you go back down the barrels. You weren't, you were halfway up anyways. I'm not going to make you roll for that. You go back down. Shaka is there standing right next to Nim. Volo still, you just see the top of his head. He's not even peeking over. He's trying to hide, but you could obviously see that he's in that barrel or uh, whatever. So, yeah. I'm really tempted to Spartan kick the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> just watch it roll. <laughs> if I did that, would it kill him? Um, I don't know. I can't tell you that. <laughs> he, might no, I just read general, like, he might be kind of weak after that blast. Oh yeah, Bola, that's right. Yeah. He didn't get all his health back. Are you guys talking about killing this human that's cowering in the corner? Yes. He's okay, cool. very annoying. <laughs> he's so and annoying. Useless. He's not he's not our people. We don't care about <laughs> him. <laughs> but Lisa's like, yeah. let's kill the girl first. But she's like just she like knows he can't see her, but she gives him annoyed look, like annoyed mom look again before she turns to Shaka's like, Oh, you're okay. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling all right. I don't know what happened, um, you know, but uh, once I get a chance, I'm definitely going to participate, try to take these things down. Yeah, because uh, it was like jump and maybe break my neck or come and check on you. So I'm not pushing my luck with the way today's going. No, I, I understand. I appreciate it. Um, Nim Nim saved me, actually. So uh, I see. My name is Nim. Yeah. Do you need healing? Uh, I do, I do, um, but that. but but like pro- probably when after the fight that though. Uh, <laughs> yeah, aggressive <laughs> healing. <laughs> healing. <laughs> Just for Chaka. us. <laughs> now this is this is fair use. <laughs> so uh, what do you want to do? What do you? All right, want? I'm gonna hold my action then and just okay. kind of like guard Sharafka. Yeah, let's do that. Who's next? Perrin. Perrin. Perrin is up. We've got two... Two Tangled Grells. Two Tangled Grell. Um, which one did Ash hit and there's hurt? A, there's one with an arrow in it that you can clearly see. Yes. Okay. So the one without the arrow um, uh, gets my ire. Mm. And let's see. What does that ire mean for, for it? Uh... Much like its Grell brethren, 
that was uh, in in the now burning building. Um, you are attracted to noise. Noise is what you shall receive. This, I hope, hurts a lot. And mm-hmm. I cast Shatter. Oh, yeah. On, oh. Does it on the, on the grill. Does it automatically hit? Or uh, No, I've got to... Does it have to make it's a, a, a an, It's an attack... Uh, yeah, are, so are we in the? Does that have a radius? Like, are we in the area of? Six, so, radius? so the radius, the radius is sixty feet. Oh yeah, so, uh, we're, so everyone we're is all in, in, oh, in the radius. Okay. But I direct it. Uh, oh no no no! My yeah. bad. I was looking at the wrong. I was looking at the wrong thing oh, on D and D Beyond. Sorry. Uh, so the range is sixty feet, but the area is ten feet. So it's I'm concentrating okay. it directly on the. Um, so the creature must make a saving throw. Okay. Uh, or do I first have to make, I have to make an attack and then there's a Okay. Save. Target. Okay. okay. Ooh. Ooh. I did not yeah, hit. Yeah. It does not hit. Yes. So it is saved <laughs> this time. By the bell. Right. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> So you're just kind of like winding up. Uh, you go to cast this thing, and uh, it misses. It misses low. It doesn't go high enough. It kind of like a um, like a like a free throw that doesn't hit. Right, the, yes. That doesn't hit the rim. Oh, you air I'm, air air. I'm casting shadow underhanded. <laughs> he goes, Kobe. <laughs> it just doesn't, it doesn't even come close to it. Like, uh, who's Kobe? <laughs> uh, who's next? Ashes. Ash. So uh, she's reloading her longbow, and okay. she's aiming it at the girl that's not injured. Yeah. And as I launch my longbow, I'm going to do Hail of Thorns. Oh. Which is um, the next time you hit a creature with a ranged weapon, they take um, 1d10 piercing damage on a failed save or half as much on a successful one. Okay, yeah, well, roll the hit first, yeah. and then, uh, then you cast it. We'll do it. Yeah, it hits. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Okay. Um, da, 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 da. This, and then I have this in here. Da, 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 da. Okay. That is 9, 10, 11, 12. 12. Mm-hmm. Awesome. This is the second one, right? Yeah. Great. Uh, again, it, they look like twins now. They both have arrows on the same side of their <laughs> face. Uh, it tang- they're becoming uh, untangled uh, very easily. But, uh, but yeah, uh, now you just see two grells right uh, in front of you. They look like twins, both with arrows, and the- they're both uh, hovering closer and lower to you. Who's next? The grells. Oh, the grells. Mm. Awesome. Um, uh, the first growl is going to, uh, so they get two attacks. They get uh, tentacles and beak. So they're going for Perrin first. Uh, the first one goes for Perrin. Tentacles, nat 20. Oh. oh. oh okay. Uh, so you, uh, um, do, 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 you need to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, you DC 11. Yeah. Yes. You make it. All that growl, t- all that growl time. Yeah. Uh, but you take, and I'm going to choose two dice. Here we go for the crit. Oh, uh, do, 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 seven, nine, 16 plus four, 20. Dead? What? 20? 20. 20? Oh my God. I'm I'm not, I am not dead. He's not dead yet. Oh man, but that's... But- that's but a there's a beak coming for you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. So the beak comes for you and uh, does a do 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 do. Yes. Um, yeah, that hits. Uh, uh, 18? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, so 18, hits. <laughs> 18 oh, no. hits. Oh, no. And. Yeah, we are not Celise. Ooh. 10 damage. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, so I am in the negative now. Oh, okay. So. Perrin uh, oh, gets uh, wrapped up by these tentacles. So many barbs go in you at the same time, uh, just like 
a million needles like right up the side and then this beak just clamps down and pecks you hard uh right on the uh, top of your head as that's happening i say persons unheard (laughs) (laughs) do i hear this um it all happens at the same time. So this this is basically all this has happened in the same like twelve seconds. Okay. Uh, so while you're you're uh, seeing if shock is okay, this is happening like at the same time. Okay. Um. So it, yeah, it, you would have heard it, but you'll hear it on like your next turn, or you'll be able to. S- everything gets um tallied at like the end of your at the end of the turn, okay. and there's a round. Kill it. Even though Perrin annoys me, I can't let him. <laughs> Um, so that second growl is going to go, yeah, Perrin, your body falls to the floor, uh, lifeless. Um, well, you have life, but you know what I mean? Uh, your body flat falls to the floor. Not so prickly anymore, huh? Mm. <laughs> Come at me. Uh, tentacles, nat 20. Okay, oh I shouldn't have nat 20. <laughs> nat 20. I shouldn't have gone in. I did this to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I did this to me. Uh, I take t- all responsibility oh for that. Oh, my God. When I get that feeling, wow. oh, aggressive healing. Yeah. Uh, so roll a constitution save. Oh, gosh. Man, what if I didn't make that save? Whew. Oh, my gosh. It would have dragged you in. 12. Yeah, just barely, oh. just barely make that save. Uh, but it's going to swing at you uh, with the tentacles. The damage is uh, whew, very high, too. Um, seven, uh, 21 oh points God. of damage. Uh, it crit. <laughs> Jeez. We were only joking about the TPK. (laughs) So it deals 21. Again, this guy sees his twin brother uh, do the same thing, and it does the same thing to you. It's going to go with its beak also, just like its brother did. Crit fail. Ah, ah, What does it mean? (laughs) Okay. uh, (laughs) What does it mean? I didn't think about this. (laughs) It's wrapped around you. It's it's wrapped its tentacles around you. It goes for its beak goes straight down to uh, to stab you, but it misses. Um, oh wait, hold on. You cast bane on it I on did. the first one. I did. Yeah, I cast bane on both of them. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Oh. so they lose four, right? They lose it. Yeah. Lose I'm four, sorry, okay. I messed that up. Uh, it still would have hit you though. Yeah, it definitely yeah. would have hit you. Yeah. Uh, but. Uh, only take half that damage that I dealt to you. Oh. Uh, because both of them would have hit you. Right, hold on, let's see. Hold on, I gotta go back. So you're almost, you're, you're not as quite dead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so how much? I think I did 18. 18 So that would be nine the first time. Right. So add another nine to yours. Right, so and, um, because that definitely would have yeah, hit with the last strength. one was like, what, 10, I think? Yeah. So <laughs> add five. So add 14. Yeah. yeah and then, um, so, what was it? Oh, the other one was a crit for you. Yes. So it wasn't a crit. Well, is it still a crit when? I think so. It's really? Yeah. I always yeah. thought that nat twenties and crit fails. They're always yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's just yeah. it's just take the d four. I'm, I'm gonna say the damage doesn't crit though. I'm gonna say it automatically hits you, but the damage doesn't. I'm Bane is messing with it. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna say that. Um, so only take half of that one. Um, I'm not dead yet. Right, I'm not, I'm not dead yet. And then the second one, as its beak goes plunging down, as the beak goes plunging down uh, to hit you, it misses almost completely, and its head just slams right into the uh, the stone uh, ground. It deals uh, damage to <laughs> itself. <sounds> hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it goes to like hit uh, and just goes slam like right into the floor. Um, That's great. Dealing uh, six damage to itself. Who's next? Um, Shaka. Shaka. Okay. Um, all right. So I, I feel like I want to find a weak point of these things because I feel like they're really starting to take us out and maybe there can be something we can find. Um, so I'm, I'm going to cast True Strike um, on the Growl. Okay. Can, you can't see it. Do you need to see it from, from here? Because uh, you can run around the corner. Does not say you. It just. Oh, it, it says creature within sight. Well, no, it says that you do have to point a finger, so I yeah. don't have to see it. Okay. All right. Um, so if I'm around the corner, um, 
is my action to run back around the corner? Yeah, and that's you, you, you can. No, you or can you, I run you get an back action and, and then you get okay. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So, so I'm gonna run back around the corner. Cool. And I'm gonna cast True Strike. You run around the corner and mm-hmm. you see uh, both Ash and uh, Par- Perrin uh, have a Grell right over them. Perrin is lying on the ground. Uh, Ashborn. Oh wait, were well, you? Well, he's no, he's, you're still he's, up. He's I'm not still, lying. I'm, any, yeah, I'm not you're still up. I'm, yeah, I'm still up. Yeah, I'm very much worse for wear. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so they're both. Uh, entangled in these tentacles uh, with a grell hovering above them. Both twins, both with arrows. Uh, you go around the corner and you cast True Strike. What happens? Uh, so I... Um, these things have eyes? They do not. Okay. I thought they have one eye. Um, no. Oh. That's Beholders. Okay. Oh, yes. All right. Uh, then I just, I just, you know, I'm. it's a very harrowing situation, so I don't try to... Do, any, do anything fancy. I just look at, you know, the the one that looks the most injured because I don't think I can cast it on two people um, and yeah. just point at it. Yeah. Uh, and what exactly does it do when you hit uh, it? So it gives me brief insight into the, in the, into the target's defense. Oh, okay. Um, and then on the next turn, I gain advantage on the, uh, on an attack roll. Cool. Against. Awesome. Uh, so you point, uh, you kind of are feeling out the scene and what it's going to be doing, trying to predict its movements. Um, who's next? Uh, then it's Elise. All right. I follow Shaka. Okay. And I'm going to, can I get within range to hit it in the same turn? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm going to attack the one that is closer and I'll, as a bonus action, use Searing Smite. Yeah. So if I do hit hit it, I get an extra D6 fire damage. Nice. Yeah, go for it. Just burn another house down. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're, you're almost here. dead. This, yeah, this place is just empty wooden barrels and straw on, on the floor. Well, that's if I hit Perfect. it. Okay. That's A, if I hit it, and B, it's not like I'm casting fire. Yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. Um, 14. Oh, uh, yeah, that hits. All right, so I'm going to get an extra D6 damage on it. I've been watching Tanya uh, choose her dice, <laughs> and she always look. She always goes for one automatically, and then she uh, second guesses herself, like, I want the pretty one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, al- she always picks a second dice. She always puts down the first one and picks up another Son one. Son of a biscuit. Eight. <laughs> yeah. Eight? But but uh, the D six is dice. fired. <laughs> so roll that first dice. I just want to see what that first dice was that that you're going to roll. No, the first. The first I the think first one I think chose. it was the the red or the blue one yes. you, you picked this up. This one. Yeah, yes. that's one you chose. Originally. You chose that right. one first and you put uh, it down. Just roll it. Yeah, yeah, I just want to see what it what it's what it gets. See? Yeah, it could have been yeah. better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah. gotta go insurance. That's, that's how science works. Yeah. Yeah. So the thing though, so the the D the D one is fire damage. Oh, okay. And then at the start of each turn. Turn, until the spell ends, the target must make a constitution saving throw. If it fails, it takes 1d6 fire damage. On a successful save, the spell ends. Oh, okay. So, cool. so it's like time, he's like tagged with it. Yeah. Gotcha. I still did 8 damage. So I, I have a question gotcha. about the true strike. My expectation was that I would find out a weak point about the... Yeah. Um, the uh, growl, did that happen? Does it happen... Did, I think it happens on the start of your turn. Right? Okay, okay, because because I know the last time I used it at Stream of Many Eyes, okay. it was like instant. But okay, got it. Yeah, yeah right. I think that's fine. Oh. Yeah, I think you cast it before, and then you kind of like know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like how how to see. react to it? Yeah. Okay. So I think after all this, you'll have all that knowledge. Okay. To when right. it comes back. Very good. Cool. Uh, Perrin. Perrin. Um, Perrin is uh, a little worse for wear. Um, Perrin is tired of all of this stuff that is happening right now. Is Perrin perilously under the weather? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so oh, yes. very good. I Even like Solis is joining in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so Perrin pulls out his rapier mm. and he says, it's time to point Undulations. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That's weird. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Uh, look at this. Gotta make a listen. saving throw against yeah. uh <laughs> against uh against it. So <laughs> This is the first one, or uh, um, the one in front of you? Yeah, this is the one. This is the one that attacked me. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. 
And yeah. And I, oh, well. Unless it's minus. It's, no, it no, hits. it's not minus. Okay, yeah, yeah. it hits. Okay. Uh, so, uh, D8. I like how everyone has their dice in different <laughs> different locales. And yes. for, you have a, a pile. You have a hodgepodge of stuff. Right. Uh, you have yours nicely laid oh, out yeah. in twos, in oh, pairs. In twos, Look at yeah. that. Doubles. <laughs> um, six. Six damage. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how do you do it? You, uh, you strike with... So, again, like I did with the last, with the last grill in the, in the apartment, uh, Perrin takes it out and uh, he zoros it. So he's making, <laughs> he's making these PUs. <laughs> oh, my through, God. Through the, so he, as he's stabbing it, he stabs... And then he slices up like he's carving. He pierces he, yes. upward. Yes, he pierces upward. Thank you, chat. You're, you're very, very good. Yeah. Uh, uh, good. Yes, you guys are so good at this. Yeah, they're very good at <laughs> yeah, it. I, I am jealous. Uh, so, yes, he, he pierces upward and uh, undulates. Yeah, and that grell you. screams out. <laughs> There we uh, go. It looks very <laughs> worse for the wear. It, it looks like it's going to drop any second now. Who's next? Oh, it has to make a saving throw. Oh, does it? Yeah. Or else it gets... Was the that the one? Smart. Was that, was yeah, that was the a, one? I think so. Wait, yeah. at, oh, every, with, at the end the of the every fire? turn? Yes. Oh, yes. I thought it was like the end of the at whole At the start rotation. of each of its turns. So yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. It is Ash's turn. Yeah. Um. So there's one that looks more worse than the other? Yeah. It's not the one in front of you. Oh, great. I jump on... I... um. Jump on the one in front of me. Okay. Um, because it pecks the ground, yeah. right? So it's closer to the ground. It's not floating. So I want to jump, and I want to like um, pretty pretty much like stick my hand in its brainy thing. Duh. Yeah, I want to. I want to claw Scoop it. Scoop it out. Yeah. Scoop it. Well, roll um, uh, acrobatics to get up on top of. Oh, them. okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh lord. Um, that is a five. A five. Yeah. Oh, no. no. You, you, I Dang mean, you, you go and you lunge on top of him. It's just not, he's a moving yeah. beast. You know what I mean? Uh, it would need to be higher to, to get on top of mm -hmm. him. Um, but yeah, you go and you, you do try to reach up and, uh, grab onto him. So I will let you do some claw damage to him. Okay. Uh, so roll, roll damage for your claw okay. or your hand. Uh, five. Five. Yeah. Um, you, you tear down on his uh, brain cheek, I guess, whatever you want to call it. And it screams out also. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the, grill. the girl's turn. The girl's turn. Okay. Uh, first girl is going to uh, go for... So who's their parent? You're still in front of them, right? Still in front yeah. Of them. Uh -oh. Yeah. Uh -oh, so uh, tentacles are coming right at Perrin. Is that... So at the end of its turn or at the beginning of its turn? That's the next one. saving throw. That's at the beginning of its turn. Oh, okay. yeah. So you gotta. Okay. Nat 20. Nat 20. Oh, so, I'd yeah, say that spell. saves it. <laughs> <laughs> the spell's, the spell's over. over. I and used it for that. This is your third Nat 20. <laughs> I don't know. Girls. You guys are seeing it. I, I shake it up a lot. Oh, no, too. I'm, I'm not accusing I'm Let's not test accusing that I'm yeah, just we saying. Should. I'm, not, I'm never like testing these girls. Are, <laughs> these girls are. Uh, okay. Uh, the tentacles miss. The beak is going for you. Uh, does a 14 hit you? Uh, it's Ty. It's, it's so it goes to you. Yes. So, okay, great. Um, oh, the nice. other one yeah. is going for Ash because you tried to jump on top of it. Uh -huh, I'm still going to try. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still going to try. Yeah. Uh, does a 15 hit you? Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, so make a constitution save. Where are we? 15. Yeah, you save, nice. but you take uh, do 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 seven damage, and then its beak is just gonna try to swing left uh, to try to nab ya. Okay. Oh, actually, he still has bane. I'm sorry, that doesn't hit you. Ha! -ha. Yeah, he still has bane. Um, oh, that's right. It's the attack that loses yeah. four, not the damage. The beak is coming for you. The beak misses. Uh, you're on its side, and it can't just uh, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's trying to like. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Who's next? Shaka? Shaka. Shaka. All right. So now do I get the insight on the. Yes. Now you get the insight. You uh, 
you look at them, they're completely distracted. You know that they're blind, that they make their, uh, their moves by sound and movement. They're also connected to both these by their tentacles. So you know that it's probably tuned in to both these, to both these guys. Um, you do have advantage now mm-hmm. on the roll? Yeah. So that's what you see. So you said they're tuned into the people that they're yeah that they're attacking. Oh, oh, so they're kind of okay. tuned into. So okay. you can probably like sneak you, up on them. Or yeah, something. exactly. Okay. Um, all right. So all right. So so yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna walk up to them. Well, well I'm gonna <laughs> run up to them, um, and I'm gonna get close, and I'm gonna. Fire my crossbow at the one over Perrin since he's the weakest. Yeah, go for it. Uh, I got advantage, right? Sure. Uh, the 12. Yeah, the 12 is fine. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, so it hits. It right. hits the Grell uh, right over Perrin. The one that's like worse for wear. Okay. All right. Do I also... Does advantage mean? Uh, does that affect the damage? Too? No, it doesn't. Ah. <laughs> it just affects. You're yeah. hoping, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hoping. for sure. Five, five. Yeah, um, he drops. Wh- how do you kill him? Where's the Where's the shot? Where's so it? I, so I aim exactly for where the other arrow was. Oh, okay. Right. Interesting. Um, because like I want to kind of open that wound. Yeah. Of, of a a bit. So so like I get right up and I just aim and I just. Hit it right there. Execution style. For sure. Awesome. Uh, you feel it. You don't get the, you don't see it, but you feel the tentacles go uh, limp, and then this giant growl just falls right in front. Actually, it might fall on you. Does it fall on oh. Roll, roll <laughs> no. back. Oh, no. Can roll I back. Kill Perrin. It's right on top of them, basically. Can I save him? Oh, oh yeah. I've you got save it. yourself. 25. Okay. Oh, For okay. sure. <laughs> you feel the tentacles go limp, and you're like, <laughs> My man, Shaka, uh, yes. and you flip back yes. right as it like slams into the ground. Oh my god, <laughs> I would feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh-huh. While this is happening, the camera uh, zooms in uh, to Nim's eye, who is watching from the side. Uh, he can he's walked up to where you guys are fighting just as curious, like being curious and all in slow motion. We can see from Nim's point of view. Uh, he doesn't have pupils, but we can hear the ticking and the servers moving like an old uh, pocket watch. From his point of view, we see Shaka turn this crossbow up um, just as Ash has tried to claw the side, um, just as Perrin has used his rapier as well. We see this grell, one of these grells just fall to the floor. As Nim watches all this, all in slow motion, the poem plays in his head. These are the soldiers. They bring steel to flesh, blood in the cut, no sleep, no rest. Their soul for honor, a fire to smolder. They wield the knife. They are the soldiers. End of episode. Uh, that was intense. Yeah, I just made that up right now, guys. It's pretty good. Right? <laughs> 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 uh, so, chat, if you have questions for our characters, uh, we'll go over like five five minutes and start rapid firing them um, for us. Uh, and we are going. So, yeah. So remember to put question in on in front so we know you're you have a question and we answer in character. In no. character, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was absolutely the most intense fight we've ever had. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap, those growl are the powerful. Growl, they're very scary. They are powerful. Oh my god. I'm not ready yeah. for these growl, y'all. I thought I was like all strong. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I must say that Bane was probably the best call. It really that Bane was. was. Yeah, dead. I kept forgetting about Man, it. I'm sorry. It would have yeah. took, yeah. took I think both of y'all out. Yeah, I was like, uh, yeah. No. Yeah, and I was paralyzed. Right. And does anyone have any questions for us? Um, this is your chance. This is your chance. Your chance is now. Your chance. 
Although we did have a lot of during the chat uh, suggestions for our soundtrack. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Octobird. Octobird is a word. Oh. Yeah, Octobird is a word. Aggressive healing. Yes. 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 And and the bodyguard song. Yes. 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 Like yes. some yes. Yes. bodyguard. So we get yeah. questions. Uh, as, as covered by Nick. Question, uh, question, Ash, would you consider teaming up with Volo to become a crime fighting duo? Mm. So. It seems like an easy <laughs> answer to me. Absolutely not. Uh, Smash and Volo. What? Oh, Volo and Smash. I think my name would come first. I don't even know what his skills are. Uh, what are you talking about? What are your skills? skills? Uh, knowing pretty much everything in the world. Super okay. strong, super fast. How is your blocking? Uh, track, my and I blocking. just like kind of like tap him, like uh, play fight don't blocking. Do that. Don't touch me. I bruise like a peach. You Stop bruise it. like a peach? <laughs> yeah. That's strong. We can't and Celine fight crime? is ignoring them. <laughs> From the chat, I think it's scrolled past. Uh, I think Father Coffee. Question for all, how long has each person played D&D? We are answering in the character, Father Coffee. What yeah. is So D&D? Celeste does not know what this D&D is. However, yeah. Tanya has been playing since first edition. Uh, Cicero has been playing since Rivals of Waterdeep. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, since June. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've been playing for maybe three and a half years now, something like that. Yeah, I think so. Um, I played other role game playing games before, but yeah. like about three ish years for D and D. Yeah, and like this is my first serious game. Like I dabbled a bit when I was younger, but this is my first like real real deal D and D. Yeah. Question from past episode. What was the Octobird? The Octobird is the Grell. Um, the Octobird is how pa- it's a song Perrin made up um, after talking to some children that wanted to explain the Grell as an octopus or a bird. So he combined them both and called the Grell an Octobird. If you uh, want to know what Grells look like, just Google. Uh, it's a search website, kind of like Alta Vista. You know how you guys use Alta Vista all the time? I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's kind of like that. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's crying. It's like Ask Jeeves. Right, Ask Jeeves. You know no. when you guys are on Ask Jeeves? Ask Jeeves. No. You, yes. you got to use Dogpile, which is <laughs> yes. aggregated. Wow. Yeah. Ask Jeeves. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, just open up Net, Netscape Navigator. Yeah. Uh, wow. Type in, uh, go to Yahoo.com, right. type in yeah. Google.com yes. on wow. the search bar. And then you have to go to use the Netscape Keyword, keyword, yeah. yeah. Um, keyword, right? But, but what Octobird song? is the word. Uh, yeah. Uh, so we do have a couple questions. What song would you say would be the entrance song for your character? Oh, that's a good one. Oh, oh my God. Can we got? cuss? Yeah. yeah. Why okay. not? Move, bitch. Get out the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's so funny it's so because I know you thought of that before. <laughs> Actually not, but come on, it's Elise. <laughs> Some ludicrous just comes out. <laughs> You're like, what is this? What is this music? I love parents, that. Um, parents, uh, theme music would be "You're the best around." around. <laughs> Nothing's gonna ever get you down cool. except for Grell and people who <laughs> don't know how to stop making noise. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, cool. I, have, I don't know. Um, what is that song um, by um, Paper Airplanes? Oh, that uh, MIA song? Yeah, it probably yeah, be that song. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. yeah, I don't know the, I don't know the lyrics. All I want to do it is... Was, dun, dun, dun. But it's like arrows. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's cool. I like that. Sweet. I don't know. I was, um, trying, so to think. I was trying to think. Huh? Ash, I'll just think about it. Uh, question for Ash. What do you think of the latest ba- of the last battle? Um, uh, I, you know, my life flashed before my eyes a couple times, um, but I'm going to, I'm going to take this grill, I'm going to turn it inside out. It's what I've decided. Oh. Yeah, it's real aggressive over here. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. Seems Don't worry, Sleeves like will help you. <laughs> um, and so this is a reminder, Father Coffee and others in the chat, please ask us stuff we can answer a in quest in very character. very small mm-hmm. list of things. Um, but for me, I would love to get Mark Mir or N.K. Jemison on, but that would mean they'd have to be here in Chicago since we are, we are together in one spot. Um, that's me. That's what why was the question. Um, would you ever consider having guests on like someone from the Gygax family? Oh. But we do the show locally in Chicago. So someone <laughs> would have to be here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that would be cool if someone came uh, and played with us. I would love to have Greg Tito on. Yes. I We'd just, love to have Greg. I would love to so have Greg. Greg. Hey. Yeah, yeah, Greg, Greg next time you're in Chicago, uh, play with us. I would love to have, man, I would, I'm just letting you know. Or if, be Dave. Oh, or B. Dave would or be Christina. great too. Christina yeah, would, would be great. great. Satine would be great. Sure. Um, I just want, I, I don't know why, whenever I think of Greg, I always, I would, Greg, you come on the show, come to Chicago, 
you will play a bard. I will bring a guitar and play it for you if you don't play guitar. Uh, oh and we, we will have all the songs for you. Yes. Uh, I would just love to someone see that. Someone please tag Greg on Twitter. Or I will yeah, text someone him after clip the that show. and just post, post it on, yeah, right, post right, it on Twitter. Twitter. Yes. Sweet. Uh, what a question. A question we're, lo- qu- yeah. we're losing questions. There's like a question for Nim. Nim, uh, <laughs> do you need, do you need one? winding up? No, he doesn't need winding up. Nim. Um, I think nimble rights are kind of, uh, they're like, they have an elemental water power in them or something like oh. that that keeps them going. Um, I'm not exactly po- uh, positive, so someone correct me, but I, I think it, uh, nimble rights, I think how they're created, there's some type of special magic elemental power, Would some Nim earth know that? power. I don't think Nim knows that. So, so Nim's not answering so the question. So Nim's not answering the question. Nim cannot answer yeah, this yeah. question. Uh, I do question not know. for the grill. Oh, is that Question me? for the grill. Taste, tastier, halflings or humans? Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> And I think that says that's, it all. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's, that explains I can, all. I could have sure. done with a little bit less uh, racism in that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, it was halflings. Yeah, right. Okay, uh, one, one, calling the cops. What? <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> 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 was it a grillogram? <laughs> oh, so God. last, last oh. question. Last question. Um, anything else before we wrap up? Uh, Chaka, what was your song? Oh man, I uh, I don't know. I was trying to think of something involving atomic like dog. mysteries or puzzles. We could do Atomic Dog. I'm, I'm, I'm not a Q. Atomic uh, dog. Uh, George Clinton was a Sigma. <laughs> wow. I'm just so afraid it's like some light FM like '90s hit. Like, I was actually trying like to pull, I, I was trying to pick something that you wouldn't expect. <laughs> and you say, uh, <laughs> "I only hear what I want to." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, 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 oh, like, I think I got it. What is it? Never gonna give you up. Oh! Never gonna give you up. <laughs> Never gonna let and us down. It doesn't wrong. matter. He, it doesn't matter he, if there's spikes behind me. He's marching into battle, Rick Rolling. He's Rick Rolling. Everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Right. Um, awesome. I think that was great. Let's wrap it up. We're going to go around the table and uh, introduce ourselves again, do our little exit and what we got going on in our lives. Hi, I'm Tanya. I am your on occasion grumpy and in need of a bath. Uh, Paladin, Slice Storio. <laughs> As for what I've got going on, I will be at TwitchCon. I'm on a few panels. I'll be in the Unity Lounge. And then later today, I am GMing Star Trek. And Carlos is going to join us again as a guest character because uh, one of our regular folks is out enjoying a convention, and uh, our our Andorian science officer will be back from the beyond ooh, ooh. of sickness. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, I am Cicero Holmes. I played your uh, oddly upset uh, bard, Perrin Underbo, <laughs> today. Uh, I don't have much going on. You can check me out on Twitter. Uh, I'll be doing Twitter things uh, at Stubby Stan. Uh, other than that, uh, you know. Catch me on the internet. You'll see me. Um, my name is Serena Marie. I play Ashborn. You're a very, very scrappy and uh, arguey ranger. <laughs> um, you can catch me on um, the podcast The Dungeon Rats. We're gearing up for season three or on Twitter at Serena X Marie or Instagram at Serena Marie. Yep, and I'm Sharif. I played Sharafka, Tiefling Warlock, uh, partially paralyzed Tiefling Warlock. <laughs> um, you can catch me at SharifJackson.com, S-H-A-R-E-E-E-F, Jackson.com. That'll have links to uh, all my projects, including the Spawn of Me podcast that I do with uh, Cicero here. Um, and I'll also be on the Star Trek Adventure show, um, uh, which will be later tonight. Yeah, and I am Carlos Luna, your... Um Grumpy. I'm not grumpy. What what adjective would you guys? Mysterious? No. Am I mysterious? No, you're not. Devious. No, no you're not. Uh, I think you're. I think colorful. you're an actual colorful. girl. I feel like you really love playing. <laughs> wow. you're like, um, like I'm your, going with colorful. Like your grail loving DM. <laughs> He's Rick rolling me right now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can find me on social media under Carlos Critz. You can check out my podcast, The Dungeon Rats. We're going to be starting our third season. Uh, brand new world, brand new cast. You can jump in on this campaign. Uh, this should be starting in early November. November. 
So if you didn't listen to the first part of the podcast, no worries. Uh, we're going to be starting uh, a, the second campaign real soon. I'm also going to be doing a series of videos that should be coming out in a week or so. Those are really cool. I hope to be releasing them on YouTube under Carlos Critz. But yeah, thanks for coming out. Thanks for participating in the chat. Chat, you are lovely as ever. Um, we'll see you again next week. Thanks, guys. Bye. Peace.